Goodbye. I think I need to. I think I need to change my stats. I already changed. My <laughs> I forgot to change my stats. <laughs> oh my god, you're so sexy. I know. Okay, let's go. All right, I'll get too excited for two damn. I need that double. <laughs> anyway, it's Riku. It's a fact. So, That's wait. True. Hold on. Wait. 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 This gives me plus ten. Yeah, well, while it's equipped, your actual attack stat goes up by 10. That's why I wrote it to, that's why I changed it from 40 to 50. God damn, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that means all this changes, right? Yeah. That one stays there. This one, was this one speed or was that one strength? Was what, 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 what? Shooting star was dex, right? Or speed, right? Yes. Okay, then I'm not changing it. I know warp strike was strength, so I changed that to 50. Yep. Wait, hold on. We're changing our stats? I am. Did the item shoot. Yeah, you did all that yesterday, Rick. Okay. Lightning damage. Alright. Let me know when you are done with your adjustments, and then I will officially kick things off. Okay. Is Blizzard an AoE spell? Blizzard 1? No. Fuck. I don't want any of this magic right now, so I'm gonna ignore that. <clears throat> <laughs> if I ever had a daughter, I imagine she will look like something like you. Except, which is why I never want to reproduce. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yikes, bro. Yo, fucking Dylan is spitting some acid, dude. That's funny. Alright, we good to go? Hold on, I'm doing math. Math does take a while, yeah. Why is my brain not working? 2, 3, 13, 13, 15, okay. Wait, let me turn on the, uh... Okay, what do the badges do? The badges, as long as they are equipped until you master that ability, they grant you elemental attacks. So, if you get the Flame Strike badge, it gets used Flame Spark or Flame Slash, whatever it is. So, whenever you attack, and as long as it's equipped, you have the actual Flame Strike attack. So, it's like a fire melee hit. Mm -hmm. Fire one melee hit. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> after you use a badge attack, the elemental effect lingers for one additional action. Afterwards, it goes away. Okay. How's that? Plus three, plus one. Okay. All right, I'm done. Alrighty. Let me just turn this on. So last session, uh, the party, or yeah, the party decided, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take the mayor up on uh, that that vi village tour. So he did that. He found out what every little chapel location was in the main village. And then the party ventured forth to the shop area, where they met all the merchants and where the mayor said. This is where the magic happens in the morning. They met Greg, they met Mike, they met Fiora, they met Alex, they met Wizard, whose actual name is Wizard. They met the food and spice merchant. <coughs> Bless you. Gesundheit. He just said met... spice and lost it. <laughs> Bless you. And they met an incredibly laid back accessory merchant. Uh, 
before the party went on the shopping spree, the mayor said to them that you go on and do what you do, gather what you may need, and meet me by the bridge once everything is done. And from here is where we continue the story. Also, out with the food and spice mention also has elements of crystals and shards for sale. I don't know what that means, but pug. Uh... You remember Nox has to make his magic. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Did George Lucas come and just run up and take his coat? <laughs> Fuck. All right, Can I talk to the duck? Yeah, you can go talk to Greg. Of course, that's Harmed. Why wouldn't it be Greg? <laughs> his name is Gregory. <laughs> Gregory the Duck. What are you saying to Gregory? Um, I, I want to tell good. him. <laughs> that is not what I'm gonna tell him. Um, so I want to talk to Gregory. Um, tell him you want to deep fry him. No. Anyway, uh, God. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Circle around Gregory for a bit, right? Smile, spark. <laughs> I want to tell him that I like his sword. Well, like, thank you. thank you for making this sword. Yes. No problem, lad. You seem very nice. Why are you a duck? I. I was born this way, madam. Sparkles withheld, hat withheld. But I was born this way. Why were you born a human? I'm assuming you're a human. Yes. Yes, I am. Well, technically, I am. My character face. I was calm. also born this way. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Well, then that's just how life has it, isn't it? It is, Greg. How was your day? My day has been great. I met your companions. I've made a nice chunk of change, and I've also shown mm. people. He looks left and right. One of my secret menus. In the distance, you hear Alex going, "Ugh." What kind of- what kind of menus? Ah. Weren't you here with your buddies or did your memory get wiped? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> um, they slept in. <laughs> but- So, yesterday, I kind of my... slept in the inn. Your sword! You... Could you be... A psychic? Uh, How did you know? Uh, oh, we wanted to meet another psychic! Yes! Finally! Well, today is your lucky day! Alright. I can't handle this. Poker starts I off walk away. by lying to Greg the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Greg, it was nice knowing you. Thank you very much for making the swords. From one psychic to another. Ta-ta! I'll see you some other time. I'm just gonna roam around, man. That was too much for me. <laughs> so much character interaction. Hey, Rick. What's up? You see my token? Yeah, I see your token. I'm V-stepping. Oh, lord. Any other interactions people want to have? With any of the merchants? Hey, hold on. Who's that Caroline-looking woman? That is Fiora. She's scared. Fiora's fucking great. Hold on, who who's the Selena NPC? What? I'm pinging the <laughs> character. Yeah. Mm, I mean, like, who is that? I don't. What is she I, I looked at it and it reminded me of Selena. <laughs> <laughs> that was not my intention, but pop off, bro. That's Fiora. Oh, she's <laughs> she's great. Yeah, she sells books and stuff. And if you if you look at the note that oh. says passive gains from tech items and tools, that's everything that Rick and Yuki bought yesterday. These are all passive effects that occur uh, all the time. Cuffbook doesn't fucking matter. After everything said, doesn't fucking matter. Uh, Defense every level. This. Interesting. Gain one speed.
diet manual can temporary food effects for consuming food. Oh, okay. I want fighting times. No, you have that. Oh, all of us have it? Yes. Fucking I, I put guap. I, I put in the D and D chat the other day. Uh, you by buying the book, you guys unlock shared knowledge. And so, oh. yeah. So whenever someone buys a book, after they read it, they can give it to someone else. They read it, and then everybody benefits from it. Oh. We stand. Yes. Also, oh, Riku, who's this person here? That is the laid-back accessory man. You would, would you like to talk to him? Yes. I'm not gonna hear the point out. He's laid back. Makes me worried. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Oh, let's pop in. It's pretty all... good. How are you? He oh, just smokes. It, it's uh, it's a good morning. Made mm -hmm. a couple sales. Made your friends. Mm -hmm. Hey, you seem alright. <clears throat> yeah, you're cool. That's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, uh, anything else I can do for you, madam? Um, what kind of, um, what kind of spices do you have? Uh, the, no, 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 that food stuff, that's not mine, that's, that's someone else. My stuff okay, is, okay, no, my, my, stuff my, 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 right my, 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 Uh-huh, what kind of that, stuff do you sell? Whoever's running that stuff, there, there's just some, as for what I sell, uh -huh. I mean, I got, I got rings, I got necklaces, mm! wristlets, one of them you're okay. wearing. Okay, I heard accessory and went, hmm. Spices. <laughs> <laughs> My character shot at her from a distance. It's free bread. Free I must part. It was nice knowing you. Uh, I see you around. I know Juriku. His dad does look like a food stand. <laughs> Literally yesterday when I thought it was a food stand, I'm like, oh no, I saw accessories. I'm like, all right, cool, free bread. <laughs> yeah. I literally took like two pieces of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so is it safe to assume that you all are, you all don't have any inter any other interactions you want to do with the merchants here? Nope. Not illegal ones. Easy. Do right. they have weed? No. Okay. It's not a spice. <laughs> all right. Listen. Well, it was cold. Continuing on. The party goes and meets up with the mayor, and he nods in approval as they look much, much better geared out compared to when they first got here. So, after he congratulates you all for making your purchases, he says, Ah yes, the tavern. Uh, the barkeep said that the meat you all brought to him is ready to be consumed, and I do believe that would make for quite the energizing breakfast. So if you want to follow me back to the tavern, let's go eat. So I'm change the maps. The maps. Not the shop here anymore. Turn that on. Alrighty. You all line up at the uh, at the table, and he very extravagantly slides all of you your breakfast for the morning. I call this dish Cerulean Supreme. I used the finest spices I had available. I made sure to slow roast it. I made sure to add a reasonable amount of rest of it because sometimes my wife tells me to slow down with it. And a nice tall glass of rolling berry juice please enjoy and as you before can, and as you before my character food, even you see, before my character even touches the food he takes out a cell phone and takes a picture of it and starts chomping oh lord you want those guys well like this looks great we don't have this back where we come from <laughs> as you all are consuming your breakfast you see tear and fame can i say i want to tell him thank you he nods and he nods saying you're welcome. Uh, you see Tyr and Fing setting up the tavern for the day, and you you think to yourself, oh, they must work here. And as you all finish your food, you feel so Alec! 
I there's a tiny map on your map. I know. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway. Oh, I just noticed that. I thought that was an enemy that just broke in there or something. No. <laughs> um. Fuck, what was <clears throat> tiny map in the map. As you all consume your food, uh, it is so incredibly energizing for you that upon finishing your food, you all gain two entire levels. Excuse me? Yep. Oh, baby! <laughs> so three. now, all of you are level three. Oh, well, more math for me. So how do I level the fuck up, then? All right, there we go. Put Type in three and call three. it a day. Anyway. No. I would, too. <laughs> all right, let me get my fucking passive sheet out. Well, Riku, since he's forced us to three, you can do it to experience okay. point count. <laughs> uh, no, your, your EXP didn't change. EXP is the same. It says I was gonna take us forever to reach four. So, you say. we gain one attack, one speed, five MP, one, in, one intellect into defense? Mm-hmm. You get all that from, uh, your manual bonuses. And, Yuki, it still takes 5,000 EXP to level up. So, y'all, the, the cap you need to level up isn't gonna go any higher than five thousand. Huh. Oh, that's a blessing. Yeah. Do and we increase in HP up, or anything? Uh, yeah. So every level up, you gain fifty HP. So y'all just gained a hundred HP. So make that adjustment as needed. So two hundred well for me. Doesn't everybody get what? What have? Wait, maybe that wasn't it. What? Oh, I mean, I'm going to just go to the real book for this. <laughs> Increase. No, um, I'm at. No, I'm at eleven intelligence. Primary, and secondary stats by whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. With your bonus points, and then once you all are finished, we will continue on. Question. Answer. <laughs> we round out stat ability. I mean stat points. Say that again. Do we round up stat points? Yes. Now, so who's picking up AR? <laughs> Wait, like attack where anything goes up? Yeah, so when you deposit your stat points, everything goes up by a whole number. And if and if I wrote in a decimal, just round it up. Our main stat still goes up, right? Yes. So since my main stat's dex, it could... Okay, I so you do that we have... I, have that I don't know what I'm doing. Proficiency bonus. Oh, okay. Okay, so your primary stat is whatever your highest stat is on your sheet. So that will go up by two per level up oh i get four oh yes and then you also get so my dexterity turns into a 20. yeah and <sighs> then you also get one free point per level up to put wherever you want i don't care Not... and then of course you uh you know, so if you increase your strength, you increase your attack stat by the respective number, etc, etc. So we have two points to put on our primary and one point to put on our secondary? Or wherever we want? Wherever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you all are... Making your stat adjustments. Tyr and Fing are going about the place, making sure everything is set up and ready to go for tonight's festivities. Should there be any, they're double checking all the alcohol they have, double checking all the food that they have. Ladies and gents, don't forget your bonus stats from the books. I also don't forget those. I think it's right. It's gonna send this into your. I spent oh, a pretty penny on those for you guys. Um, all right. Make use of them. Wait, what? what? <laughs> I'm lost in the sauce. The sauce is lost. Okay. 
click the little newspaper thingy. There's a note you have that says passive gains from text, items, and tools. Oh yeah, I know that one. Yeah. So, every two levels, Ooh. you gain the attack, the speed, the defense, and then on every level up you get, you get the extra MP, the extra intelligence. Oh wait, that was... Wait, every level up or every two levels? I thought it was every two levels. For the... Every two levels. Oh no, it's Some every... Some of the passive gain stuff is every two levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's true too. Oh, shit. One? One, my bad, my bad. Five, plus five MP, wow. Ah, I'm done. <clears throat> With every level up, which means... Oh wait, shit, I level up. Do I have to grab shit from this stupid fucking... What? Do I get any new buttons for level 3? No. Everyone gets their first new attack at level 5. Okay, Pog. I don't have to go look at that thing. There's two questions in that, really cute. <laughs> I just put it all way. Uh, it's towards your primary and your bonus, Yuki. Okay. <laughs> also, I did forget to mention that this session is the beginning of the uh, beneficial random effects and I rolled those on my way in from work last night. This session, you all will benefit from a single use of hypercharged EXP. Oh and shit. For this session, you have a benefit called God on Speed Dial. So. <clears throat> Once per turn, by using an action, you can call Korra and ask him for a random piece of advice. In fights only. Shh, fuck. Fuck. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Since I was here, I'm all like, yo, Korra, what's the bomb-ass recipe you could give me for pizza right now? <laughs> I was gonna ask him where the other rare creature was. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Korra knows. Yeah. God knows. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not letting you get away with that one. Hey, Riku. Uh huh. What are you rolling that for? No, nah, I I have a plus ten bonus now. <laughs> oh. Holy shit! For sleight of hand, bitch. I have a five. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that was a good roll. Fuck! All my luck is gone. Anyway. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys even roll sleight of hand? <laughs> click on it. Um, it's next to your... Yeah, just click on it. Yeah. Click on <laughs> what? <laughs> so when you have your character sheet open, yeah. to the left of where your inventory and attacks are, there's a thing that says acrobatics, animal handling, arcana, athletics, blah blah blah. Just mm -hmm. click on the word you want to roll, and it'll roll it. Will you ask me, Poker? Mm-hmm. Can I do a flip? While you're eating? <laughs> yes. Okay. Rick, how are you, bro? <laughs> Alright, they don't know about my rolls. <laughs> okay, so. What Rick do you mean I his... don't know? No, 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 no. Rick bought his spells yesterday, right? And, you know, I have a thing that was like, us oh, 1d4, x minutes, time, hours, whatever. This man rolled two fours and a ten with both Cure and Esuna. So he has a boosted cure and a free cost Esuna. And he did it back to back. It was it, it was crazy. I didn't have to read the spell books. I just look at the cover and then they disintegrate. Literally. <laughs> right. you, you guys almost done with your adjustments? Need any help? No, I'm good. I'm done. Did you make sure to also give yourself the MP bonus from the intelligence point increase? Mm -hmm. Riku, I did everything. It's okay. Okay. You get MP bonuses for intelligence. What? Intelligence and wisdom. Intelligence is plus 35 MP per point. So how much MP do I have then? Let's you see. should have... <clears throat> you should have 150 MP. 
Awesome. Why, Rick, we're matching. We had the same amount of MP. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we're not broken. I'm not broken. Alright, we all good now? I am fair now. I think so. <laughs> yes, sir. Yuki, you good? Let's just go up and stuff. Pretty much I'm good after that. So you can go. So, <laughs> after you all finish your breakfast, <laughs> uh, you all somehow now know the recipe and you can make Cerulean Supreme whenever you want, granting you have the materials. And the food effect for it is you begin every fight with 40 temporary HP as a barrier for, for the duration of the day. And so, as you all clean off your plates, hand them to the barkeep, he takes them back to be washed. The mayor approaches you all, and he's like, Alright, well, now that everyone and everything has been well adjusted, let's say we go about having you all actually deal with that journey, yeah? As he finishes his sentence, there's an incredibly loud warning signal going off. And it is filling the Sora, Tyr, and Fing with quite a bit of dread. And the mayor takes a very large sigh and he rolls his eyes. And then he just whips out a lever action shotgun from his back pocket. <laughs> oh, not this again. Hey, can we stop stealing cards? <laughs> We have a why do, why do you all have cards? <laughs> can we not? Can we not? All right. We're like playing poker on the table when the alarm goes off. <laughs> Would any of y'all like to ask what the warning noise is for? Yes. What's that warning noise for? There we go. What the fuck is that? I assume it's enemy attack. <sighs> Who the fuck is attacking? So. How do I explain this? Follow me. We're, we're going outside for a second. So, for whatever reason, every year, when it gets close to us having our annual festival, there are some Cretans, I'll say, who decide that they would like to attack the village and send everyone into a panic and turmoil. And they sound so jealous. It is essentially a call to arms to defend every sector of the place. Because uh, there have been some times where we've almost lost the village. And the Can worst... Can we get them? And hold on! <laughs> and the worst instance of it was when Tyr and Fiend first got here. And they were, for lack of a better term, beat half to death. So, granted that you all just got here, and I hate to put this burden on you, would you all be willing to assist us? No problem, just tell me where to shoot. Alright, well, if you all follow me, I'll take you to where you all will be defending. And everyone else will man their stations. Oh boy, I can't wait for- Oh my god! <laughs> you can take that. that. <laughs> you guys can take that. You guys can be guys alone. Dragon oh. Priest. Okay. So, this is a tutorial for what I'm going to call High Risk Battles. Short version, uh, you can die. Long version, uh, these are Can't some. Die. These are some battles with a lot of enemies. Uh, they're mighty strong, but the EXP payout is insane. So, that Probably being said, <laughs> there are three places you have to fight. You have to fight in front of the village. You have to fight at a cave and on the road to a different forest. Depending on certain actions that you take in battle, certain beneficial effects might occur. Also, this is the one battle that will benefit from the hypercharged EXP buff from this session. You 
you are ready to fight. As my character somersaults behind the tree and just readies his weapons. Alright. Whoever has the highest speed stat, go first. I got you. The man that just somersaulted. <laughs> What's my yes. speed on? Hold on. Oh, I'm at 47 speed. I I'm right. going first. I have 52. Oh, you oh. got 52? All right, you go first. <laughs> when Riku went, you have two points per level, and when you can point at anything, I went, mmm, dexterity. <laughs> Just threw all of them into it. All right. Oh, we're up there. Uh, can, you, can you remove this token? I didn't see we were at the top. Thank you. Uh, can we see these? Are we supposed to see them? If you roll perception and you roll high, you can see them in the tree. You can make out one of the archers. Pog. I'm gonna drop an anchor on its forehead. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> No, wait. Roll a 1d5. That don't hit. Well, that's about how my luck goes. <laughs> wait, how did your speed go up that much? You, you only put 3 points on dexterity? It was for every level, so we got... I put 6 in... And then the 20 points we started with, pretty much, I put all of it into decks when we started. Uh, yeah, because... No, because, like, I put the, the two the two points on Dexterity, but my speed didn't go up. Oh, you have to manually... Oh, you have to manually do it. Oh. Uh, how much speed do I have now, then? I How much is in your decks? Because you might have... should have gone first, then. How much speed at... Well, I'm at 22 like dexterity. Oh, I still have more than you. Okay, so yeah, that that's... No retcon, I missed my first attack. I'm doing it again. Alright. Hey, Riku, help me out here. Uh, How much speed am I supposed to have now since I put two points on dexterity? What's the number? You put two in. So you're at 22? I'm at 22 dexterity, yeah. Uh, your base speed should be 44. But your equipment boosted, boosted that up to 47. Roll one d5 for me, Alex. Can I not get a 1? Ooh! Would you like to roll that as a critical hit? Yeah. Alright. You need to roll a... What's your crit number again? 11. You need to roll a 1d... 89. Yeah, 1d89. I didn't type the R. I'm very intelligent. That's a critical hit, buddy. Fucking bet. That archer is dead. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> right. You got two actions left. I gotta subtract mana. Give me a second. Excuse me. This song sounds familiar. Is it from Persona? Yes. I think it is from Persona 5. Boom! Haven't even played the game. Is this from Scramble? Because I don't remember hearing this one in Royal. Yeah. Bravo! 
Yep, thought so. What is this thing? It looks like a goblin. Goblin mage? Uh, as far as you know, it is a goblin. But if you use the Libra spell, you can tell exactly what it is. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... Well, I he's holding on to a scepter. 72! Alright. Uh, that's a hit. Okay, nice. And I bonk. It is hanging on with three HP left. So, you know... Oh, Riku's not gonna... You know how, like, when you land a Lee Sin Q and you see someone with low HP? Every bone in my body is telling me to warp strike on top of it, but that's also in the middle of things, so... Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be your... Just jump back to me. Oh, fuck, I drew on the thing. My bad. That's a long sword. Yes. That is my sword. I'm gonna hit this one too. I'm just gonna soften up both of the front ones and hope someone else can kill them. Alright. Uh, roll a 1d3. I fucking... I keep not typing the R and it really hurts me. Uh, that's a hit. Nice. Of the bonk. Hanging on with 19 HP left. Alright. And that's the end of my turn. Next. Is it my turn now? Yeah, should be. Alright. Let me check something. <laughs> I don't even have to use a sniper rifle for this, but oh goddamn, I will. Wait, wh which thing are you shooting at? I'm shooting at this, uh. What is this thing? Uh, that's Dragon Breach. How do I highlight enemies, or how do I ping them? Just hold All down the combo. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm shooting at this thing. Because it looks like a priest. Alright. Uh, that you, <laughs> you literally overkilled it by one point. So that's dead. So, so I essentially just blew off his head. Yeah. Archer's next. I don't like getting shot at. I need to roll perception to so see him in the tree. Alright. Oh, my character sheet's not loading. Uh, perception. Oh, well, you sure do see him. Yep, mm hmm. Target spotted. <laughs> That's dead. I'm gonna shoot at the other mage over there. Alright. How's it each shot is getting more powerful and more powerful? That's a good question. Uh, it is hanging on with 17 HP left. Now, do I have to roll for it to get poisoned or not? Uh, it has to roll. So it's... Yep, that's poison. <clears throat> uh, you have one action left, I believe. Mm. 
This thing's dying. I like w fucking uh, knock this worked hard just to weaken him. The what? The other mage. Oh, okay, dope. Dead. Alright, Poker, it's your turn. Moshi Mosh. Let's see here. I am very fucking far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I don't want to be a man anymore. I just want to be happy. Okay. Can I use Rapid Slash to just come closer? Or can I walk? Oh wait, fucking! I for yeah, I forgot that. To move. I wanna. Let's see here. If I place myself here and use rapid, how do I um? What's it called? Do I have a ruler by any chance? Uh, sure yeah, you do. If you look in the upper left. Look at the little circle with the ruler in it, that's how you pull it up. And it's just drag it along the map. Okay, so... Rapid Slash is... let me find out real quick. 15 feet. <clears throat> it's a 15 foot dash and you literally barrel through whatever is in the middle. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna roll rapid slash. Oh, this bitch in front of me right here, and the other goblin thing. Yeah. Oh, if you get a collateral, that'll be awesome. What do I need to roll? So I just kind of slash over so here and vibe. So she slashed through and missed and tripped. No, she just didn't hit them. She's still on the other side. Okay, I. That's cool. I'm gonna rapid slash back real quick. <laughs> okay. Man, the damage comparison. I don't like this. Okay, one d three, right? Yeah. That's okay, I got it. Fuck. <laughs> 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 They have 81 HP left. You also have not used Dragon or Serpent Slash. Which, if you remember what it does... Okay. Yes. All right. I do. I'm gonna use Serpent Slice next. I have become strong. Increase, no, you increased your speed so you don't have to roll to try to hit them anymore. Because now you're <clears> faster <throat> than them. Man, I should've thought of this! <clears throat> okay, whatever. Just let me smack it. Right, <laughs> you hit it. So now it's... We know how your game is played. Has 29 HP left and increase your speed by 10. So for the rest of the fight. Until you use your next circus dice, you'll be at 46 speed. At uh, 47, whoops. Okay. You got two actions left. Hold. I have two actions left, that's so cute. Um, Dragon Slice. Uh, that one's dead. Increase your attack by 10. And... Hmm. I can't reach him, can I? Yeah, you do it. Um, this dude in front of me here. It's within range of your rapid slash. True. Oh. Um, I will rapid slash to this direction over here. Right. Is that a good idea? Oh, that's not a good idea. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, 
there's a lot of enemies there. Like after your turn ends, yeah. they target you. You can still use. I was gonna say. Can use your defend action. Can I rapid? Sl no. <laughs> can I rapid slash away? Uh, or you can just move backwards. Or I can move. I really don't know why I don't move. Okay, I'm just gonna. Zoop. I'm gonna stay here. Alright, so. I think that's a good distance. Yep, yeah, that's a good distance. Okay, I'm out. It was nice having you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. Dragon Slash increase my attack by 10. Yeah. Got it. So now we wait on ice. Yep. Oh, but, you know, Rika just moused me, because I wasn't sure if he was done doing what he needed to do. Yeah, it's your turn, bro. Oh, I'm being slow as I have to actually sprint over here. <laughs> My life. I'm gonna activate the, uh... What was the slow path called again? I know I have a different name. Say it again? What was the slow bash call again? I knew it had a different name, but I forgot what the name was. Time Warren. Yeah, I gotta trigger that and smack this tree thingy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, you don't have to roll the hit because it's my big ass fucking tree. I first off with the tree. <laughs> Did you roll your damage? This now. Alright. It's the Monday. Don't ignore the bottom pit. That doesn't count you right now. <laughs> Now so slow that it just can't move for two turns. <laughs> you reduce his movement. Nice. Thirty-five damage. <clears throat> Now I defend, because I believe that was on my actions. You want to use three actions? You got one left. I had to sprint. That was oh. 45 feet. I had right, to cover. Right, right. The tree has 222 HP left. It's now the enemy's turn. So... Mr. Skeleton Archer Man over here. Skeleton Archer? Mm -hmm. I thought that was a Skeleton Warrior, he has an axe. Damn. Damn, I should have sniped him too. It just barely spotted Rick. However, instead, since Poker is in plain sight, it is going to yeet its axe at you. No, I ain't! Uh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> anyway, let's get ready to uh, hit the axe like a baseball. Let's see. <clears throat> you get There's not the fact for impact. You're gonna get hit, and you are oh. going to lose all of your temporary HP. I don't know what that means. Like so the bonus forty. Yeah. Holy shit. I had a bonus 40? Yes. You did. Well. Yeah, it was I, can I don't need to breakfast. Okay, so the thing is I didn't add it, which which means my HP stays the same color. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is going to call its axe back. Oh, excuse me. Oh, like, oh. And then it's going to throw its axe at Yuki. How dare he. And... Yuki, your temporary HP drops it down to 9. Yes, I can catch up with this. The skeleton has a really good throw without muscles. And then the skeleton is going to defend. And as a reminder, whenever something is defending, 
It's a 20% less damage. Alright. The Goblin Mage in the back. It is... Cast. It's going to cast Ice Beam. And it's going to Ice Beam on Yuki. Likely before we continue on. Does my temp HP come from a purpose Yes. Nerd. So you're gonna get hit with an ice beam. Okay. They just shoot through the tree. <laughs> yeah. It didn't hurt the tree though, because it's got a special ward on it. So now you hit. Your HP is going to drop down to... 201. Uh, for HP. Anyway, it is going to fire another ice beam, but this time at poker. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Hello. Mm, you need to roll a 1d2 to dodge. <clears throat> Lucky. Yeah, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> I see you don't get hurt. <laughs> She just sidesteps to the left and it just goes by. <laughs> Yee! Just here, here for behind dramatic. Me, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Here for dramatic effect. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, it's going to cast... It's going to cast Bravery on the Treant. And the Treant now has 10 extra attack, giving it... 55 attack. And it's going to use last action to defend. So both the skeleton thing and the goblin are both in defense mode. The goblin behind the tree next to the mage man is going to move next to Yuki. He's going to try to clock Yuki on the head. Yuki, your HP will drop to you lose 30 HP. Murder. Alright, it's going to use its next action to move next poker. It is going to swing with both hands this time. Okay, you need to roll a 1d4. Hey, bitch, I don't know no. what that means. No, ah! <laughs> Sidestep. Alright. Uh, frustrated, it is going to break its club, and now it has two weapons instead of one. <laughs> That's not good. And its stupidity. He gave himself splinters in his knee and has to spend a turn taking them out. So this thing's turn is over, and it is also incapable of defending itself for one action. This little rat bastard right here <laughs> is gonna run up and try to shank Yuki. Yuki, you lose 18 HP. Damn, you literally are Vanguard right now. <laughs> uh, it's going to roll for something. Uh, it can very obviously see Rick, and it is going to throw its knife at you. From that far? Yeah. Rick, you, need, you need to roll a 1d3 to dodge. You get hit, and you lose 22 HP. And I need to also roll at. Wait, are you in the tree? I'm on the tree, yeah. Okay, you need to roll acrobatics to not fall on your face, because you got hit. 
Oh. Okay, hold on. Let me subtract. 22 HP, was it? Yeah. If my character sheet will load. Okay, so I'm at 230. Uh, right, acrobatics. fall out of the tree and you land on your shoulder, you take an additional 15 HP of damage. And when your next what turn you? comes around, you have to spend an action getting up. Gotcha. Right. Now for the big old tree. Uh, it's gonna take a swing at Yuki. And Yuki, you are... Uh, <clears throat> you are going to lose. That auto hit at zero speed. Huh? That auto hit at zero speed. Right, forgot about that part. That's yeah, I forgot it. Uh, Sue has to roll money on his own. Watch it roll at 19. It is my life. Lost enough. Yeah, it still hit you. No, 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 whoops, my bad. Oh, yeah, idiot. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna say anything about that, man. When you said, oh, did it hit you out of 15? Yeah, because when you're rolling against the enemy, I know. Speed, it was just the fact that it's like you questioned it for two seconds. Anyway. Uh, you lose 9 HP. Okay. The tree is going to punch the ground to try and create a small earthquake. And the range of this. If Poker and Yuki, you both will have to roll against. This is an AoE, so you're gonna get hit no matter what, especially since you're on the ground. Poker, you take 8 HP of damage. And then you can you take 36 HP of damage. He was point blank of the of the hit. Uh, the tree is going to struggle to move to no avail. And it's going to use last action to defend. Alec, it is once again your turn. Sweet. What's the range on this? Not enough. Alright. I will take out the two range enemies. Oh, you're not safe now, fucker. <laughs> I want to jump to the one in the back. Okay. Hey, I rolled a nat 20. So that's an auto crit, and it's, uh... Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. I'm gonna attack a skeleton now. Alright. I need you. 1d2 for 
me, buddy. So hey. Got 54 HP left. Wow. Okay. Then I want to hit it with the stick. I don't like this 1D2 game. <laughs> I see why. Yeah. Left. Oh, I only have one left because I moved. Oh, right. Oh. Wait, that should have been the last one. I attacked three times. And moved. Yeah. Alright. Are you going to defend or... Gonna... Yeah, I'll defend. Alright. Rick, it's your turn, buddy. I burn a turn for getting back up on my feet. Uh -huh. Got reactions left. Okay. You need health. You took a lot of hits. You said you define who. Talking about you, you do. Uh, the only person that's being a tank and taking all the hits. I mean, we go, we go back to death, baby, because he's the one looking at my H people. I will not look for more than I. All right, you're healing Yuki, right? Yep. He will use you for 110 HP. And he's pretty much bad. I, 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 I know the one on the sheet. I'm actually I'm keeping on, on the calculator. I am back on full health. You're back on full health after that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm assuming I gained nothing from the healing. Besides health. Yeah. There it is. Alright. Riku, next turn. This rap this rap bastard's gonna eat shit. Alright. That knife hurt. Goodbye, rat. <clears throat> God. Oh, that's your turn. Uh, my turn's done, or do I still have one more? Yeah, because you spent the turn getting up. Yep. You Yuki. You shot the thing. Oh, you do have one turn. I miscounted. Okay. Let me check something. You are within range. I don't have to snipe you. But it's defending. Don't forget about your other gun. I know. And I'm gonna use it. Wait, can I use it with Reloading Siphon? Since it's my primary? Yeah. First one is going to be the Fire Bullet. And because it is a 
plant type monsters with 10 extra points of damage from fire. Oh, the tree is dead. Okay, oh, tree. 220 HP left. You did 229. Ooh. Fuck right. them tree huggers. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Roger. Dragon slice. Fuck. Dragon slice. Just dragon slice the guy in front of you. He broke his own weapon. Okay, that's exactly what I'm doing. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I used Dragon Slice on the first time in front of me. Okay. Yes. You, you did 78 damage. So it has 42 HP left. And I'll do it again! Ba -ba. And it's dead. Okay. <laughs> I will use Rapid Slash to... Jump to this man's over here. So I'll be relatively here. And it is dead. Okay, I will rapid slash again to this dude over here. And it's dead. <laughs> I. Good game. <laughs> okay, that's one out of three battles. <laughs> yeah, he's right. You ain't done yet. After you finish that thing off, <clears throat> uh, Mayor comes out to the front of the building to check on you all. Make sure you all are doing all right. Uh, Tyr and Finn are also with him, and they hand each of you. Uh, what? Riku, I just found Loba on Tinder. Why are you on Tinder? Uh -huh. Oh, Loba. No. Wait, I want to see the I saw an update, so I opened it. <laughs> no. And the first thing I saw is fucking... Riku, I promise you, I'm going to send this, and you're going to you're gonna be okay with it. <laughs> Wait, cheer with the rest it's of the class. I'm holding the session right now, dude. Anyway. Uh, they hand to each of you... Two potions and three ethers. Much obliged. Two and each. Tear looks like she is on the verge of having an emotional breakdown. Potion. Because when she was taken from her home world, this is almost note for note about how it happened and as much as she wants to help everyone fight she's just too petrified from the first battle she had here and she's suffering some pretty heavy PTSD right now but she's trying to keep it together she, she's really really trying to keep it together and you can take one look at Fiend and concur that if Fiend was not here with her, she probably wouldn't be standing here in front of you all right now. If there's a brief interaction you'd like to have with her, you can do that now. I'm gonna be that one guy and just try to give emotional support. I'm gonna be the good guy in this playthrough. As you as you approach her, she is seconds away from violently trembling in her place. Is there anything uh, in particular you would like to say to her? Honestly, my character is very inexperienced when it comes to traumas since uh during his during his time in the military he was pretty much relentless and didn't think about this kind of thing until now so he doesn't know how to act okay all he does is just all he does is 
All he does is just put his hand on her shoulder and just says, "You're you're doing your best. Just don't give up." She nods, accepting your words of encouragement, and little by little, she starts to compose herself. Fiends flashes her her trademark smile, and you can tell that she's calmed down just a little bit. Not enough to where she, where she's as calm as she normally is, but you can see an obvious difference in her demeanor. Great. Anyone else got anything they want to say? Or do? Uh... Come on, guys. I can't be the only one interacting with characters here. Hello. <laughs> she looks at you. She I ask how she's feeling. She struggles to say hello, but she nods. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I, 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 I'm trying to hold together. I really am. I, 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 I she, she is stammering as she's trying to speak but she's trying her best you should hug her i don't know this woman okay i'm all gonna hug her automatically well she needs emotional support her wife is I there i can't do she it because i'm a guy it'll be weird fuck if i i'm a woman if i fucking hug her her wife's gonna be like excuse the fuck me you don't know nah that. you don't know that it could be you know a sisterhood thing i look I look at her sincerely, and... <laughs> Sorry, I look at her sincerely. Or you can no just pat her on the head. So you are the... I just want to... So you... Yes, I'm looking at her. Okay. And I tell her, you don't need to say anything right now. I just want you to know that if you ever need anything, we're all here for you. After you say that to her, her shoulders just barely, it, it, it's noticeable, but barely, her shoulders relax just a bit, and her breathing slows down a little more, and Fiend, she looks at you, and she says, you know, even though we've just met these guys, I, I believe them. They, I mean, look, they, they handled, they handled the mob effortlessly, and they're going to take care of the rest of them. See, I told you, you got nothing to worry about, bro. And Tear looks at her, tears in her eyes, but she shakes them off and she nods. She tries to put on as best of a determined face as she can muster, but it fails spectacularly but your words of encouragement did help her out a lot take so, your time nobody becomes strong overnight i did you don't need to force yourself to do anything <laughs> with that being said because this battle benefited from the hypercharged exp beneficial effect you all are now level five. What? Yeah, more math. <laughs> more <laughs> math. Mm -hmm. So that's two levels. So gain one attack every two levels. So gain one speed every two levels. <laughs> it says I have three bonus proficiency now. Don't worry about that. Yeah, no, it's called inside the realm. <laughs> so how many bonus points do we have now? Uh, you've gained two bonus points and increased your primary stat by four. Since you leveled up twice again. Two bonus. What, what, which stat? Your primary. Which is? Whatever, whatever you decided. Is, and then your bonus points or whatever. So you said increase our primary by four or by two? By four, because you leveled up twice again. Okay. 
And HP by... 100. Again. 100. Got it. Okay, I'm at... Oh, you only are making your stat adjustments. The mayor is moving way faster than what he you thought he would. And... Make sure there are no traps around. He's checking the trees for any stragglers you might have missed. He finds nothing. He goes to the entrance of this pass where you all first came from. And he lays down a couple of traps. So that way, should any unfortunate idiots decide they want to come here, they suddenly won't have legs anymore. And also, after speaking to <clears throat> Tyr and helping her calm down, you all's compassion's rings gain a, a a faint but obvious glow. Ooh! It's, it's so like, if you were in the dark and you had it on, you could see your hand. Interesting. Since our intellect went up by two because of the levels, how much MP do we have now? Uh, you will gain an additional 70 MP. So... 70... Do we all gain 70 or...? Yes. Oh, shit. So it was at 150. Yes, now you're at... Uh, now I'm at 220. Yep. Quick math. Even though I suck at math. I don't know how I got through calculus. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Riku. Mm -hmm. I now have... Okay, the big number says 7, but I have 24 points in dexterity. How much speed do I, am I supposed to have now? Your base dexterity would be 48. Okay. Plus the equipment? Yeah, so... If you also poke a reset your uh, weapon attack bonuses back to normal. So, because I don't know how to measure speed from dexterity. So, every, every point in dexterity is two points of speed. So, because you have... 20, 24 speed and dexterity. Your base speed is 48. And adding in your bonuses from the gear that you have, you have 52 speed because of your wind necklace and your wind ring. Okay. That's all I needed to know. I need to. I I needed to know how much do I based on my speed on dexterity. You said two points. All right. Gotcha. So each point on intellect is how much mana? Thirty-five. Or in thirty-five. Okay. Sure, I should write this also, shit down. Uh, plus two magic attack damage. So plus two magic attack. Yes, yeah, so y'all leveled up four times so far. So, if you didn't do anything to your intelligence yet, you will have 28 magic attack. Okay. I, I didn't touch my magic. It was stuck at 20. Well, that's fine. So I'm at 28, got it. Uh, defense, debuff, that I don't know, crit. I did increase my strength by one point. So you're at uh, 12 and a half crit. So round it up or just leave it at 12? 
just leave it at 12. And then, right, because he said uh, strength points gives you half a crit, yeah. not a full point. Okay. And it, you increased your strength by one, so your base attack is uh, 48 now. Okay. Wonder if we'll get limit break in this session or the next one. You'll find out. Yeah, I sure will. Tune in next time on Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> Alright, I'm Gucci now. Everybody else, y'all good? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Help the mayor. After making sure everything is done and accounted for, he guides you on to the next location that you all will be fighting at. And as you enter, you see a strange creature with horns on its head. It does not appear friend. It does not appear antagonistic. Nor does it appear to be friendly either. You can speak to him, but be very careful in what you decide you want to say. Damn. I feel like it's possible to get an item off him. Or maybe a side quest. Talk to him and find out. Look at him. He's been eating his proteins. He <laughs> thinks. He looks down at you. Hello. My character's not existing. All right. Who? You wouldn't happen to have anything to do with this turmoil, would you? On the contrary, we're here to defend the village. Place? Village of Solace? Yes? Correct. Yes. Oh. I... I do business with them on occasion. Isn't... No. It's time for that festival of theirs, isn't it? Yeah. Just rather strange how they mention whenever they do hold a festival, these creatures attack. Spirit of the forest becomes enraged during this time of year. And I sure would like to know what the cause of it is. Assuming that you all are going to fight those creatures over there, could I perchance ask you to do a little bit of investigation on the other side of the forest. I will accompany you if you wish for that to occur. However, My character crosses his arms and thinks for a moment. However, due to the how should I tainted waters in the earth right now. I am incapable of combat. An escort mission? Are you saying not out of character? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm... I'm just asking, uh, Riku, is this gonna be an escort mission? Are you going to accept the quest? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's a bonus. It, it is not All right. an escort mission. My character decides to help out with his investigation. Alright. What do you guys think? You you guys are up for mm -hmm. an investigation? Let's do it. Alright. 
Thank you. I... You all remind me of some travelers from a few... God, how long was it? A few hundred years ago. Oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness. I met... What? I met a similar group to yours, though. You with the strange eyes. You remind me of... their archer. He was an eccentric individual, but he stayed true to what he believed in. And you, red-haired madam, you... Are you capable of magic? Um, only a tiny bit. I suppose I should impart some knowledge that because they are in the forest, they... they may be a little... harder to... defeat by traditional means. And so, any magic a lot of you know, it would make your battle here significantly easy. Huh, so they have a home field advantage, huh? Thank you for the trip. If that is a term you wish to use, yes. Yeah, that's yeah, since my character's from a modern time, that's the term he uses, home field advantage. And what shall I refer to you as? I Oh, it's been But, back when I was a mortal, like you all, my name was... was... Uh... My name was William. That was my name. Well, William, if you don't mind me calling you that, of course, thank you very much for the advice. Now, they do seem to be approaching, so I will vacate the premise, and you all can do battle, if you don't mind me. As, you try to as track he, and slice the man? As, as he finishes the sentence, he borderline blinks out of existence, but looking straight ahead, you can see him in a tree. And now, the next set of fights begin. Oh yes. This is also oh, boy. another high risk fight. Be careful. Who's going first? <sighs> that will be Alex since he has higher speed. Hold on. Music very loud. No one caught up to me and speed feels bad, man. I'm only at 52. I'm at 38, man. <laughs> I'm out here juggling. No comment. We 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 don't we don't want to talk about Iceman over there. Did you all add your level five attacks? I did. Level yeah. five. Third eye. Oh fuck me. My bad. Um. That's range, that's range, but that puts me on top of it. Oh, that's right, we get a new attack, don't we? Shit, I forgot. I don't know what that is. Anchor Dream. What are you anchor dropping on? The thing in front. Alright. That's a hit, so roll your attack damage. You deal. Oops. I wish people stop calling me. You oh, I thought that was my phone library. 63 damage. So it drops. Boom. Boom. 
Ah, uh, so I get hollow shot. I'll put that in after. Oh, okay. Alright. Deal another 43 damage to it. So it drops from 37. One ninety four. I really don't want to drop on top of it. So, what's this reach? What's the range on this? Nope. I'ma just vibe here and defend. Rick, it's your turn, buddy. Copy. I'm attacking green leaves over there. I have to shoot it twice, right? Yeah. So from the fire, from the fire shot, that's 18 fire damage. And from the ice shot, that's 9 ice damage. So, it takes 7 damage, so it drops from 194. One eighty-seven. Looks at my revolvers, huh? I thought they would do more. Well, you didn't. You you didn't use an actual attack. With them. You just shot the element part. Ah. Yeah, the element part is a is a bonus that comes with it. It's a dead tree. As it had 187 left, you did 207. Right. Two turns left, or two actions left. enough I'm attacking that boulder looking thing that sir is a dire bear oh I want to take his coat you don't 
97 points of damage. So it drops. Does it get poisoned? We'll find out. No. Let's attempt to poison it again. That's another 94 points of damage. Drops to 84 points. Oh, that pulls a chance again, and it's. <coughs> it, it has COVID. <laughs> it's super poisoned. Oh my god. So that poison is gonna last for an additional <laughs> turn. How long? An additional turn. So who do? Uh -huh. It's poison for 12 turns. Oh my god. How much tick damage does poison do? It could stop! Uh, poison 1 deals 40 HP of damage at the end of the target's turn. If no one kills it, it's gonna die. Yep. We should po so, we should focus on this one since this guy is gonna die of COVID. I end turn. Oh, well, I don't have any turns, so yeah. Alright, Poker, you're up. Um. Charmed! Serpent Slice! Damn! Straight to the point. Love it. Nice! And you dealt 44 points of damage, so it drops. Good, I'm doing well, fucking wrong one, wrong one. Ignore that, ignore that. Misclick, misclick. Okay. It has Bum! 206 points of health left. I use again. That's another 42 of damage. 164. Yes! Wait, do I need to roll anything? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I use Dragon Slice. That's another 23 points of damage. Increase your attack by another 10. Temporarily increase your okay. turn. Uh, so you mean the strength part and the dragon slice thing? Or just overall st attack? Uh, <clears throat> of your attack roll, add increase by 10. So where, so, where that 24 is, make it 34. It's funny. 24, 34, and serpent slice changes from 34 to 54. Um, how many moves do I still have left? None. Because you just hey. Move. Namaste. You can use a defending action. Third eye! Oh, I also didn't know how to like fix third eye at all. <laughs> uh, I'll it's like I... for you. Gracias, sir. Alright, you can go So, when I move, how much can I move? as you want. All I need to know. Whoops. I'm going to the back too. <laughs> okay. One action. I'm gonna trigger. I should probably forget this again. I did last battle. For four turns, I have ten more defense. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna trigger my uh, flame strike badge. And swing on this first one. Alright. Don't want need to roll anything. No. Okay. That fire damage is gonna come in handy. Okay. 
for the time. That's 107 damage. Also, for a blood weapon, does the magic damage from the badge count towards it? Yes. I have to do that math later. But anyway, seconds away. So the tree you hit currently has 143 points left. Actually, if I swing on the other tree, we can that one too. Then I'm going to defend. Alright, so that's 123 damage. So that one. 127 HP left. Alright, so the Dire Bear is going to shove the tree out of the way, so it's going to be knocked back 5 feet. Get a tree. It's going to take a swing at poker. Excuse me? Yeah. Swipe at you again. It swung at the air. Oh, fuck. I feel my hair move. I'm like, damn. going to howl incredibly loud from where it is, and as it is howling, it's howling in a radius that will hit both you and VP. Um, put it in mind, I had 30 temp HP. Take 23 points of damage. Wait, hold on. I used third eye before I um, ended my turn. So I take 10% less damage. It's like four or something. Mm -hmm. So you take 19 points of damage instead. Oh. <laughs> you. 60 points of damage. God, I'm trying to fix this uh, hollow shot, but I can't get it right. I'll have to do this later. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it for you after this fight. Yep. So that was the bear's turn. Uh, the treant is going to shove the bear out of the way. It's going to take a swing at poker. Missed, swung at the air. It's going to turn around and it's going to shoot a vine at Yuki. Oh, that's a hit. Yuki. You. 30 points of damage. And then it's going to it's going to root itself and make itself unable to be moved, nor it can it itself move. It's under that one's turn. One of the treants by Yuki is going to tether itself to the treant next to it. Is it combined? Is it doing fusion? Yes. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> so, now, it, it, will, it will now be treated as a one enemy, but it now has 270 HP. 
and then it is going to take a swing at Yuki. Man, again, again. I did that wrong. My character is observing the two trees fusing together, and and he's grossed out. I'm like, oh, that it's, is not a hit. It's parasitic by nature. It's going to look at the ground by Yuki's feet, and it's going to manipulate the grass under him to try and. <clears throat> Well, root him to the ground. Yuki, I need a strength save from you, buddy. I just realized my saving throw deleted itself from it from the last the hut. That is the pass. You you kick the grass off your feet and you look at the tree as if it was stupid. <laughs> just the fact that like. You're trapped with me! No, you're trapped with me. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the enemies, turn. Alec, it's your turn again. Yeah. Fuck, how far? Mmm. A distance Wait seems a to be covered. I concur! What? What? I concur. Proceed. Don't mind me. I had an epiphany. Which was incorrect. <laughs> a what? <laughs> an epiphany. <laughs> an epiphany. It's not an epiphany. That was incorrect. Shut the fuck I up. I too love up the fannies. Look, listen. I thought because I increased my speed by 20 points that I would go before, and then I realized, ah, that's just my attacks. Unless. No, I'm joking. But weren't. Is this Actually, one low or is the bear low? The bear's poisoned, it's gonna die on its own. Oh really? Fucking hog. Wait, you're Oh I guess it does tick, huh? Fuck. Mm -hmm. Got a poison has, whack. Uh, less than a quarter of the health left. Yeah. So by next turn it's just gonna die. Alright. I'ma just land on the tree that's in front of poker. Alright. That's it. Fucking bog. It has. I got 13 HP left. What a tanky bitch. It's a tree. What do you want? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Should have bought a chainsaw from the store. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking. Never mind. What? Nothing, nothing. I just realized we're all fucking dumb and we should have used spells on it. AKA, I'm I don't fucking have dumb and I didn't cast my sword. I had to cast a spell on my sword. <laughs> well, so that only does damage if I throw it at something. Question If I use Crescent Sword, does it hit the thing in front of me and then also the one up here? So I say that again? I use Crescent Sword. Is it gonna hit him and then keep going to hit him? If you throw it, yes. Okay, I'm gonna throw it. They say have those sort of foods together. I'm more concerned it might hit me on accident. No, I won't. It's a straight line, you're good. No, it doesn't hit. Blop. You dealt 100 points of damage. Eat. So it drops from 270 to 170. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm gonna teleport to the weapon. Uh, Big Fuse Tree is dead. Hey, yeah. nice one, Alec. Also, the also the tree before you when you use Crescent Sword, that one is also dead. 
Yeet. It's all that's left is the bear. What do you guys think? Should we just watch it die from poison? I mean, if you're a masochist. <laughs> well... Yeah, let's just look at it and laugh. Well, or sadist, I guess. Well, I don't want to destroy its coat. <laughs> I want a nice cape out of him. Okay. <clears throat> Is it still your turn, Alec? Uh, in that case, instead of using my turn to defend, I'm just going to keep walking. Uh, okay. Your turn. You're just gonna spend your whole turn watching it. Stays behind the log and, and observes it. <laughs> As I throw rocks at it, <laughs> die already. <laughs> right, Yuki, it's your turn. Go up. I do what any reasonable man would do in this situation. We're just watching it die since it's poisoned. <laughs> like the animal out of its misery. Now it's out of its misery. I'm gonna try to grapple it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna wrestle with it. Do it. Yes. Go for oh it. God. Give me the strength roll. What about athletics? Or, it, or do you just want straight strength? You can do either or. You have the bear <laughs> to choke hold. Now the two slacks it. Get her. No. Yuki, Yuki, you wait, wait, ice, you, ice, you ice, you ice, 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 baby. Yes. We're all straight. Are you athletics again? Yeah. Ice, ice, baby. No, no, no. This, this, this time we're all straight. It. Oh, bitch. <laughs> it's out of your life. Nah. You suplex is so hard. <laughs> you heard a crack that can be heard all the way back in the shopping area of the village. Oh, bitch! <laughs> That's a dead bear, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> he suplexed the bear! <laughs> god damn. Okay. No fucks given. Wow. Um. I wasn't expecting that, but all right. Uh, all of you add 1,000 EXP to your current total. Uh, because you have successfully completed two out of three high-risk battles. Uh, you get the achievement, a risky player, and you'll gain an additional 500 EXP and one speed. 500... So... Four, one. <laughs> five hundred EXP. You, you, in total, you're gaining one thousand five hundred. Got it. That's in one speed. I'm four thousand so four hundred and fifty. Four thousand four hundred and fifty. All right. Now for the end in battle, we level up on. again. What was the name of the achievement? Risky player. Risky player plus one sped. Wait, where do we put risky player on? I'm putting all of the achievements we get in the treasure tab. Just so I can keep track of them if they give bonuses. Uh, treasure tab. And for the items you get, you get you get a tainted leaf that can become untainted if you take it to an alchemist. You do indeed gain the dire the the, the dire bear's coat. Damn right. Turn that into a hoodie. Uh, each of you gain two thousand seven hundred gill and two thousand. Mm -hmm. And gotcha. you gain a you gain a singular branch from the giant fuse tree. That you, you don't know what it does, but if you I'm just gonna it, call it a stick. If you take it to an alchemist, they can do something with it. 
Or no, I'm gonna call it a magic stick. As you all once again collect your spoils of battle, the mayor once again <clears throat> comes up behind you all. Make sure you all are okay. I'm double check. How much gill you said? Two thousand seven hundred. Okay. So I'm at eight thousand. Uh, 80, 8300, alright. Mm -hmm. The ladies come up behind the mayor, and this time it is Fiend seeming uneasy and potentially having an internal crisis. Okay, before that, where do you put the achievements? Because I don't know where to put those. I approach her. So if you bring, it, if you bring up your sheet and you uh -huh. bio, Scroll down, you'll see a tab at the bottom that says treasure. Okay. Risky player, was it? Mm -hmm. so Alright, thanks. You said you approaching Fiend? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Who are you approaching? Oh, yes! I am approaching. G -g 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 oh, who is, uh. Who's the one that was sad again? Or like, appeared uneasy? Fiend, the Viera. I ask, um, I ask her what is, uh, what is the matter? Um, it's, uh... I come from a forest in my homeworld. And I... Naturally, you know, they, uh... They make me feel at peace, but... Looking at how destroyed the place is, and I don't know if you can see it, but the the, the natural energy of the forest is so thrown out of whack, and it I hate to see this. I I wish this wouldn't happen. As she's speaking, she's looking around. To you, she's looking at the air. Um, almost listless, listly, but to her, she can see different colors and energies thrown, dancing around the air in such a chaotic manner that it visibly depresses her. Mm. For some reason, based off of your description, I seem to understand what you mean about the energy of the place, for I feel like I can feel it changing too. But it doesn't need to look like this forever, if you think about it. Why don't we try to replant and make this a newer forest? That's... That's not a bad idea. I mean, that giant broken tree in the middle that got seven and a half, that was the first thing I planted when I got here. And... I don't mind waiting for another one to sprout up and such with the rest of the forest. I I would like to see as much as my home as possible from where I came from. Because I spent about I spent most of my childhood in the forest and then I decided I wanted to go to the big city and then I met and then I met Tyr stumbling on our ass coming out the grocery store. <laughs> As she says that, uh, Tyr tries to make a pouty face but fails. You're not supposed to tell people that story, you bastard. <laughs> Regardless, I hate to see this place be in such a state as it is and one day, as soon as that damn dragon is defeated, things will go back to a state of normalcy around here. And as she finishes, her and sentence, then we can all make a new deal. Yeah. And as she finishes her sentence, the mayor appears to be looking for someone or something, as he has not stopped scanning the place. Mayor, you seem quite 
lost? Are you trying to search for something? Yes, actually. Um, have, have did you all meet the guardian of this forest? When you got As there? I walk up to the mayor, you mean William? Yes, William. <laughs> where is he? Where, where, mm. where, where was he last spotted when you all got here? Um, why do you need to know? I'd say I feel like we mentioned something we shouldn't have told. Why do you need to know where this said person is, Mayor? Well, because he oversees the place. And if William has gotten injured in any way, shape, or form, well, he needs attention. He needs medical attention. He... Oh, I assure you, we... Wait, go first, Riku. I don't know if he told you, but he used to be mortal. And he died in this forest. So if anything happens to him, the forest will become in a much, much worse state than what it is now. As I scan around, I spot him, but don't say anything yet. Why do I feel like this man's is lying? Mayor, I assure you this uh, being is doing okay as I and the whole entire team have defeated the enemies of this place. I don't think he got hit or injured in any way, sort, or form. Okay. Well, hopefully I get to see him again so I can just check up on him myself. But I do take your word. I do take your word. And mm. as the I mayor, appreciate that. As the mayor is speaking to you, uh, Yashua casually glances to his left, and he sees w that William has indeed moved trees. William doesn't say anything, but he just nods towards Yashua. <sighs> Alright, you all. I do believe there is one more area that we need to check for danger. Are you all prepared for whatever else you might get into? Question. Answer. Why is it that these forest creatures attack the village during a particular time of year? It's very bizarre, don't you think? Yes, and I've been dealing with it. One, as long as I've been here, and even more so when the village of Solace was established. Um, I don't know if Korra mentioned this to you, but the Destroyer and all of his subordinates, they get a particular twisted kick out of seeing inhabitants of a dimension being happy and enjoying themselves and thus either he himself or any of those under his command they will wait until a location is at its particular peak of peace and prosperity and then that is when he decides to quote do something about it. I I know not of the destroyer's true origin, but after dealing with those involved with him for many years, I am 90% certain that I can say that he tremendously does not enjoy anyone aside from himself being happy. And our festival is, well, it's the event that founded my village, or our village. And as depressing as it is to say, we have grown accustomed to 
always having to fight around this time. Because once... Once everything is driven away, truth be told, uh, we can have our festival in peace. And there's only been... He pauses for a second as his... As his demeanor on his face flickers from calm to distraught back to calm. There's only been one instance where we failed to defend and things went. It became a living nightmare for a time. And I'll leave it at that. And as he so finishes his sentence, when he says nightmare, a tear immediately begins trembling, but Fiend puts her hand around her shoulder and she calms down. My character just sighs and just flips his hair back and just looks up and just mutters what a what a roller coaster ride this is. All right. All right. Where okay. to now? We will proceed to the last area where enemies have been spotted. So if you're ever so kindly follow me. You all go ahead. I will keep watch over this domain. Right, you all are currently outside of a cave and outside of the main area of the forest. And once you all make it to this area, William is in Plains View. Uh, it's been it's been quite some time since I've seen Mayor. Glad he's doing well. So you two are in good terms. Yes, it's just that. Well, all this time that I spend in the forest, I've uh, I've lost my touch with what you people call social interaction. And hold on. <laughs> Lost your script? <gasps> no. It's like someone walked into his room. Yeah. <clears throat> um. See, I'm not... I know my ambient Riku noises. I am <laughs> not the. I am not the, what is it, for you people use, um, uh, mad, mad, uh, I heard the term once before, it was to describe a particular type of person. Chad. Yes, that word. I am <laughs> no longer the Chad I used to be when it comes to social interaction. Thus, I don't really have the opportunity to talk to people as much as I do animals and the spirits of the forest. And because of my role as a forest guardian, I, I can't leave here for prolonged periods of time lest the spirits get riled up and I begin to grow a tad weak, so to say. Regardless, we can discuss my personal issues at another time. Uh, I do believe that the source of the vengeful negative energy is coming from somewhere within this cave. I cannot go in myself as there is little to no nature on the inside. So, if 
I could once again ask you to be so kindly as to investigate the cave and this area for me, I would very much appreciate that. <coughs> Did you cough in real life or was it the character? That was William. Oh, you seem to be coughing quite quite a bit, William. Are you okay? Um, I'm... For the most part, I'm fine. It's just that, as a guardian of the forest, once I am prolonged... Once I suffer a prolonged exposure to energy such as this, my health takes a small toll. I'll be fine as, as long as I don't get any closer. Uh, Riku? Yeah? Can I roll perception? Because I'm thinking that chest is hiding in the bushes and no one's gonna notice it. You can indeed roll perception. <laughs> I mean, obviously we all see it, but lore-wise it might be hiding. Yeah. Uh, you see some really pretty bushes. Oh, we roll on perception? <laughs> Just barely. Wait, are we all <laughs> I mean, Alec, you need to roll a 14, and Alec got it. Oh, uh, ignore what I. <laughs> you. You take Y'all a some blind really good, long, and hard look at the bushes. I'm like, damn, I need glass. And you can see a lining of wood and metal. And with. Just a little bit more focus, you spot a treasure chest. You want to open the Fuck chest. yeah, I want to open Wait, hold on, it could be a mimic. <laughs> nah, 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 I'm opening it. It could be a mimic. If it's a mimic, we kill it. <laughs> you open the treasure chest, and at first, nothing happens. Then, a black smoke comes out of the chest and completely encompasses Alec. You cannot see at all. That's inconvenient. However, oh my god, after a few I seconds, fucking knew that was gonna happen. After a few seconds, the smoke dissipates, and you are suddenly surrounded. What the fuck is that? It's fighting time, Alec. What the fuck is that? They <laughs> <really> big hands. <laughs> I don't know what those are, but let's just call them grabbers. Well, um. Oh, dope. They're within 10 feet. I'm gonna do Crescent Sword, except it's gonna spin in a circle around me. All of them. You dealt 90 damage, and they all have 300 HP left. Ooh, these are tanky boys. Mmm. This seems to be an abundance of HP. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting to kill him in one hit. That was still a lot more than I figured. <laughs> How much range do they have? Uh, so where you are, they can grab you. Okay. I have an idea, but I'm going to hit them a few more times. Alright. My original plan was, it's if I rolled a... 15 or higher for perception. I was gonna shoot at the chest. <laughs> I'm gonna just do it again. Alright, that's it. Deal another 94 points of damage. We have 216 left. That's it. Man. 
I want to acrobatics up into the tree. Up into the tree? Yeah, and hopefully out of their hand range. You gotta get a pretty smaller roll for that, but go for it. Nice. You need to be a 25. Oh. You. How, how are you doing this flip? Um, he just throws the sword up there. And I didn't think this, I didn't. Nah, that's boring. I didn't think this far ahead. Hold up. <laughs> when I heard I needed a higher roll, I assumed I was gonna fail. Um, what's his name? <laughs> Until I find context, because I'm going to Google a clip, I'm going to say, yeah, I just teleport to a sword. Give me a second to Google an anime, please. Oh my god. I can picture the scene in my head, I have no idea what it's from. <laughs> just say what anime it is. I don't know what anime it's from, that's the problem. Do you know the character? <laughs> no, I don't. Wow. This is the character. Do combat, I'll figure it out. You <laughs> describe me. I'll find it. Rick, it is your turn. My character just sighs at watching Alec get trapped. Ah, not trapped. But then hops away and re and then my character just gets a sigh of relief. Those hands must be good for something. Sus. Very. <laughs> that one. Okay. Wait, why'd I do it three times? Did it not register the? Fr uh. It's fine. The one you were targeting is dead anyway. I'm, and I'm gonna target the other one too. Alright. That one is also dead. And what you do your next attack? Uh, enraged that its seemingly brethren just got bodied, it is going to be clasp its hands together, it is going to ever so slightly change color, and it's going to gain 15 HP. Okay. You can now attack it. Turn left or one action left? Yeah, you do. Upon receiving the damage from that last shot, under no, under no circumstances it would be dead. However, it is surviving with one HP left. Its color on it. has once again changed. It is now currently silver. I need to drop my gold. What the hell? My my character just shouts.
But is it poisoned? No. Because it hasn't turned silver, it seemingly becomes a power. Oh, I like this. Alright, Monty, your turn. Moshi, Moshi, I'm far as fuck. Whoosh. Teleportation, what's up? Um. Yee yee. You hit it, but it is still surviving with 1 HP. Oh. Can I roll perception on it or insight to find out why the fuck it has 1 HP? Wait, it is it, did, it, did it have 1 HP already and I smacked it and it still has 1 HP, or uh -huh. did I just hit it and it had 1 HP? So I smacked it and it still has 1 HP. Uh -huh. Okay, how do I find out why he only has 1 HP? What do I roll for that? Why don't you, uh... Hmm. If you... Need an example, Riku. Usually in D and D, an identify monster is usually Arcana or Nature. True. However, you know, I do have a Libra spell. Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, 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 uh. Scarlet Magic does that. Use Libra. Okay, so upon using Libra, you now gain the following information. This enemy. Oh, well, I pack it up. <laughs> As my character is gazing into the shiny skin it has, he thinks to himself, Does it have magic resistance? I pull out my phone from my back pocket and start looking up Wikipedia. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, there is no internet. You forget, we don't have no internet! <laughs> <laughs> I place my phone back in my pocket and just stare down at the enemy as you it stares back. You just, you, you just take a picture of it. <laughs> Say cheese, it goes like, Wee! What kind of noise does it make, Riku? What? What kind of noise does it make? Oh, Damn. I was kind of expecting like chalkboard scratching, screeching noises because it's made out of metal now. <laughs> I do the Disney in front of the enemy. Since, since his skin enemy. turned on metallic, hopefully we get iron scraps out of him. Ooh, true, true, true. Maybe I can use some of them for my sword. And then so I can go back to uh, Greg. Talk to him about uh, <laughs> me being a psychic. I have to keep that up for the next time. Like, Anybody got a pickaxe or do I whale him with it? No. What if I use this spell on my sword? Maybe then I'll be able to. Oh. Um, typically. Da -da -da -da. It will be harmed by magic and cannot be dropped below 1 HP outside using make. What's using make? Magic. <laughs> Got it! Okay, I cast um, fire onto my sword and use dragon slice. Uh, wait. You have an action to move. Yes. You attacked it. You're, you're using spellblade fire on your weapon, right? Yes. And you attack it with dragon slice, or is this is the um, attack itself just so as, as a reminder. When you use spellblade, you are casting a magic attack onto your weapon with the damage for a simplicity sake is dealt with melee damage. So you dealt with melee magic fire. Yes. So it is dead. Okay. We did it! Nice. 
Cue the clip from Madagascar's The Penguins going like we did it. Uh, that thing being dead. Walks towards body and just kicks it. Haha, <laughs> get body. It's really sturdy. All of you gain five armor scraps. I mean, not armor scraps, iron scraps. Whoops. <laughs> You gain 300 EXP, <clears throat> and you gain 4,000 gift. Oh, I told yeah. you they were worth money. Uh-huh. <laughs> money. Five more scraps to go, baby. And the wait, wait, what else did we get? Five so iron scraps, gill, oh, EXP. Yeah. Was it 300? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm right. Wait, 300 gil? 300 EXP. 4,000 gil. Yeah. Oh, okay. And... It's a lot of fucking gil. Well, yeah, it was an enemy What's chest. What's in the box? What's in the box? It was... Upon opening the box, all of you gain one high potion, three more ethers, and you find a warrior's manual. Upon reading that manual, you will immediately gain two attack. Alright. We do get double attack on this level. You also find an unidentifiable stone. You can tell that it's a pretty stone. It looks like a gem of some sort, but you won't know what it does until you take it back to the shop. I here. want the rock. All of you get it. Oh. Okay. So who wants to read the book? Oh wait, we can all read the book, can't we? Me? Yeah. Ahab. Said plus two strength? Or two, attack? Yeah, two attack. How much EXP do we get? From the fight or the book? From the fight. 300. Okay. God, we're close to leveling up again. Mm-hmm. So with that out of the way, your next objective <laughs> is to, we have two options. You can either keep investigating and exploring this area, or you can go inside the cave. Here, let's have a quick look around before we even go into the cave. I was about to say, before we do get inside the cave, I do need to be healed. <laughs> oh, I have cure. I also have potions. Yeah, but I want to take the potion just in case. Yeah, Alec, if you if you use a potion, everyone gets healed from it. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's save that for a fight. Let me just use heal on. Wait, who needs it? Me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll heal you. Can I cast cure on myself? Man, the one time I don't have a character with high. Yeah, Hyrule's why button. wouldn't you be able to do that? Wait, how do I? How the fuck do you do that? You have to put it in as a spell card. Yeah. I put it in as a what? Spell card. I'll help you do that uh, later. Thank you. Okay. So I don't know what your max HP is, Rick. So I can't do that math. Uh. It he has two hundred twenty. So that would be thirty-five plus two twenty. One hundred forty-five HP healed. And I'm still not at max. <laughs> then I'll heal you again. I'm, a, I'm, I'm close to max, just not at max. That's all. Okay. Oh, okay, so you heal him for another 145 and subtract your current MP by 40. <laughs> Current, okay, I'm at 220. I'm at 180. My head hurts trying to math fast. <laughs> I could believe we've got I have level 5. Don't we gain the bullet attack? Uh, yeah, you, you all do gain another action in battle. So yeah. now, all of you start combat with five actions, and unless you get ambushed, 
Now, if you get an ambush, you start with four. Normally, you start with five. All right. Let's see if I could do a good perception check, because I don't want to miss anything here. All right. I missed everything. <laughs> uh, you can... You look at the ground, and you can see some... You can see some <clears throat> kind of footprint, but you don't really know what it is or what it could be. Wait, a footprint, you A say. footprint? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I recognize the footprint? <laughs> so, upon inspection of said footprint, uh, you look at it, and the closer you look at it, the more you can... You can see some kind of strange energy coming off of it. Magic. You probably shouldn't touch it, but you can tell that whatever it is, it it's a little powerful. If it's strong enough to leave a footprint on the ground with energy still coming off of it. Uh oh, this, this sounds like a secret boss fight. Or the supposed to be boss fight. Wait, wait, yeah. which way does the footprint go? Uh, towards the cave. That's what I figured. Okay. Where nice. the bodies are. Let's Every the bone in my body is telling me to touch it. To loot, to, to inspect the body, do I have to roll perception and insight? See if they have items? Can I sleight of hand a body for items? Yeah, I, I was gonna say sleight of hand. All right, you take that body, I'll take this one. Alec, you find 600 gil and an ether from that body. Rick, you find 600 gil and a small pouch containing 10 bullets. That's a two, four, nine, so eight, these four. are just normal bullets or special bullets? The bullets for you. Insight and intelligence. Of course. My insight rolls has been pretty poor. Insight, what's my insight? Eight, of course. Uh, and intelligence. Wait, where's intelligence? You needed a grand total of 20. You got a 21. Upon inspection of these bullets, you come to realize that they are specially charged lightning-infused rounds. These bullets deal damage equivalent of the Thundara spell. Oh. So, for 10, you have 10 specialized bullets that deal 2d7 plus your magic attack of damage. So add it to my inventory? Yes. You said I found Gil. Yeah, you found 600. I pass yep. 300 gil to uh, our samurai. Right. Oh! Uh, increase, increase. Why? Uh, ask him. Why? Mayhaps explain thy queries. 
because I have too much gil. Oh. <laughs> I, I accept high key, dude. Let's do it. Give me, <laughs> give me the cash. I am broke, not really, but. What were you? What did you move like, here? So I kind of want because there's like a tiny, tiny little bush thing. Alright. Uh, give me a perception roll. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Please! 14. Uh, Sir, please. Looking through the bushes, you can see a strangely blue glowing plant. Oh! If a mana like, herb? If you would like to touch this plant and pick it from the ground, I need a medicine roll and a constitution roll. Oh my god, you hate me. <laughs> um. Man. Man. You touch the <laughs> plant and upon making contact with it, you feel a surge of energy rush into your- Which arm are you grabbing it with? My right? My you feel arm. a surge of energy rush into your right arm, and you regain all the MP you spent in the last fight. Yay! You also nice. place the mana, mana plant mana. in your inventory. Mana plant. Lovely! Lovely indeed. Gonna inspect these bushes here. Alright. I'm gonna need another perception roll. God, my perception rolls are, re are really weak. Mm. Upon inspection, you don't see anything out of the ordinary, but you do see... A few, a few berries on the ground. Puts eye drops. No, it does another perception roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be a crappy roll. Oh. Hmm. Alright. Well, upon inspection. You see what looks to be the corner of a box sticking out of the ground. You grab the box, and you find another treasure chest. This, uh. This is not an enemy chest, so don't worry, no fighting. I was gonna shoot the chest! <laughs> upon, <laughs> upon opening the chest, all of you gain. <clears throat> all of you gain 1,500 gil. All of you gain a protect ring. It's up to you if, one, if you want to equip it or not. And you find what appears to be a whetstone. No oh, whetstone. Gain gill whetstone and a what? What? What was the third thing that wasn't a whetstone? A so I guess the second ring. thing. Ring. Hey, uh, what does this ring do? Uh? As long as it is equipped, you have plus 10 defense. Dang! I'm equipping it. <laughs> I, I call dibs. All what is the ring called? The Protect ring. There is no dibs. Whenever you guys do oh. a fight or open a box, all of you get the rewards. And you, said, it, you also said 1500 gil, right? Yes. Bro, I'm at 10k! Nice, I'm at 1400 gil now. At 1400? Sorry, 14k. Wait. Okay. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> My bag is feeling a little heavy. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. Alright, any more investigations y'all want to do?
shit. Nope. Alright, so you all are going inside the cave? Yes. Check the other side of this bush. <laughs> are you actually doing that? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, more loot. Cool. Come on, guys. More loot. Again, Let's look around. Mercy. Let's look around, bro. More loot. After this, though, you all... Whoa! Okay. Um, fuck. My character's motivated. <laughs> uh, upon this inspection, you just so happen to look at the ground, and you find a small bag containing ten medicinal herbs in it and one mana plant. Trials of mana. So one mana plant and ten me medical orbs. Yep. Okay. Now, all of you are going to go inside the cave. There's nothing else. Can I check again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you... looking for shit. You, you found everything that could be found in this area. Oh, now you, all you have to do is let that fallen tree. Oh, yeah, check the fallen tree. <laughs> I said, let the fallen tree. Anyway, moving to the cave. Alright, so. Another chest! That is real. Two, do that. Oh, two chests. Is the entrance over here? Yeah. Right. Uh, upon entry, you can see a fire that doesn't appear to be too old. Uh, past that, it, it is a little dark. So if you have a light source, or if you can create a source of light, it would be highly advised to do so. Compassion ring, activate. That is the source of light you currently have on you, yes. Can I stick the branch into the fire? <laughs> Use it as a torch? Yeah. Am I going to regret using the inch branch as a torch, Riku? <laughs> as long as you put it out fast enough. <laughs> oh, fucking bet. <laughs> Instead of being a, ran a normal torch is going to be like a torch with blue flames. It's a magic stick. Alright. How, how much... Um... How big of a circle should a torch give off, Riku? With the torch in the hand, you can see up to 30 feet. And the compassion ring, 10 feet? That's a big fucking circle, Riku. <laughs> yeah, I know what I said. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, you're right. You say big, that's default D and D uh, radius. Yeah, but there's okay. So how much light does a compassion ring give? Uh, that gives fifteen. Fifteen? Hmm. If I have more, if I'm more compassionate, does it increase the range? Oh, that was re radius. Let me change it to fifteen. That makes more sense. I hadn't thought about that, but yes. It decreases the less compassionate you okay. are. Why it's non existent? Okay, time to be compassion. Alright, uh, Ice, you're the most badass warrior I've ever seen. I love your shield, love your beard. Wait, 10 wait, out of 10. Wait. Don't work like that. Damn it. <laughs> Damn, 15? Since I can't where, see shit, where, is where that. Where do the footsteps go? What? Where do the footsteps go? Is that going to affect my range? Uh, no, that that one big footstep was just outside. In here, it's regular human-sized footsteps. Wait, but didn't it go towards the, the cave? Yeah, that's what you said, the, I the said magic the footstep. Cave. I never said it went inside the cave. Motherfucker! Ugh. Damn it, we... We, we could have we had a secret ball fight. <laughs> I'm, fuck I'm it. Fucking clear this first. No, I'm no, going no, out no, there no, and hunting no. the big footstep thing. No, 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 no. I got a bone to pick with that monster. I'm leaving the cave. <laughs> yeah, but there's stuff in here. Alright. 
So how are we going to play this? I imagine these two chests are either booby trapped or one of them is an actual chest. Though since one of them is right here behind this, I won't be able to see it even if I use perception since it's fucking dark. I chokes on you. My light source covers all the way to the wall. <laughs> all right. Roll, then you should perception it, see? No, he, there's no need for him to roll perception, because he, from what his character is, the light source is covering it, but he doesn't know it's there until he walks over. Yeah. But you guys can see. Here. Yeah. I can see, like, the edge of the chest. I Like, I know there's a chest there, but I don't know if it's booby-trapped. Is there no way to find out? Or the only way to find out is when you open the box. I shit you not. The second I walk past this, I see both of them. Okay, you know what? Can I shoot at the box? Why are you gonna shoot the box? Then they're gonna know we're here. Can't shoot Don't worry. The box if you want to. What? I want to go touch it before he shoots it. I have a suppressor on this. Don't worry. Motherfucker, that's not how suppressors work. Get a warp strike to the box, then. I'm warp striping to the box. I'm using my mana. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Oh. Even better. Fuck opening it. I'm going to shooting star and slam into it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. While you do that, I'm going to snipe the other box. Well, as you sh use shooting star and come crashing down onto the box, you blow you it. You can't see it anymore. <laughs> you blow it wide open, and the contents contain a. A pocket watch. Pog? Pog you watch? find a speed manual. Ooh. You also find a thunder bracelet. So, speed pocket manual. watch? Speed manual. I can't fucking type. I'm not sure if each one of us get that one. No, you do. I'm still writing it down. Uh,. Pocket watch, speed manual, and what else? Thunder bracelet or lightning bracelet? Thunder bracelet. Uh, I typed thunder lightning. I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> All right. What's the speed manual do? Uh, after reading it, every time you go to sleep, and as in like a long rest type sleep, so basically one session ends, uh, mm -hmm. you gain. Uh, one speed, and then when you wake up, upon your next level up, you gain an additional one speed. Boy, this this effect so will bad. occur five times. After which, about to be you no longer speed. gain that benefit. I'm about so, to rename my character to Sonic. <laughs> so that's gonna go to passive gains and from yeah stuff. Okay, so I'll that make, has to be added sure on to later. Include it for everyone after the session. I don't. I'm deleting it from my inventory. No, no, no. Keep it in there. <laughs> What's okay, the dunder bracelet? So, well, I'm gonna assume lightning damage taken by ten percent. So while he <laughs> body checked that chest, I just shot the lock of the other chest. But can you see over there without my light? <laughs> you know what? Question. Rick, roll a 1d2. Uh, 1d2? Yep. Okay. You got this. I believe. I believed! Ah. So, not only did you shoot the lock off the chest, you shot the chest dead center, it collided with the wall behind it, and it flipped over and landed in front of you, wide open. Damn! You that can't is... fool a sniper's eye. <laughs> wide open and the monster comes right on out. <laughs> no, 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 no. That'd be no, so whatever. funny if it was the ambush chest. <laughs> <laughs> upon, <laughs> upon opening that chest, you lay hands on 50 scraps of iron, Fifteen or fifty? Fifty. Damn! And you find four pearls. All right. We just need one more material. Uh. So 
so I'm at 95 scraps of iron. Yeah, you have everyone has Ricky, way have... more than what they need now, huh? Ricky, do you have fog of war on? No. And four pearls. I will be right back. Alright. My direction. Wait, technically, if God leaves whilst we're playing DD, does that mean that there is no God? Uh, we ourselves become our own gods. Just so technically, we won. <laughs> we did it. God is no more. Oh, see, God's gone. God's gone, dude. God, God went gone. Time to turn all the wine back into water. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> yes, do it. Okay, so all we need now is uh, the pearl feather. The Prether, if you may. Yeah, the Pearl Feather. The Prether. Because... While, while, while you guys are gone, I bought the majority of the scraps. And the Sheet of Steel and the Sheet of Gold. I'm just missing the four feathers. And once I unlock the armor, then I get the armor, but you guys have to purchase it. You guys won't have to get the rest of the materials. Can you guys see the big oh. aura of light? Um, in this over here? No, I mean oh, like on my back. back. There's, there's, there's um, gold over here though. That me only. That's kind of sad. Yes. Damn. I wish you guys could see myself. God's back, scatter. <laughs> scatter! Run! What are you guys trying to do now? Um, technically, we defeated God, so we won the game, but they have returned, sadly. Are you saying it's sad that Riku came back? Crazy. Damn. I'm saying that- Damn. I damn, why do you guys back. twist- you, you Now, guys what twist I them. want is- is this loot over here? Can I pick it up? The guitar plays for us, Bored. I mean, if you want the guitar, you can take it. <laughs> I'm pretty I sure that's a loot. That's a loot if I've ever seen one in my life. Yeah, I'm all like, if that's you a loot. Want the instrument, you can take it. Takes instrument. Okay. Oh, can I... you said loot as. Uh, I thought you just wanted to raid the supplies and you called it oh, loot. No, no. I was like. Riku. Mm -hmm. I want to venture off into the lighting in that light area. Okay. What? Oh, I stumbled across. Oh, I like, are there any enemies here that are supposed to be? I need to trigger something. You get over there. You see a bed. You place your hand on the bed, and it seems to be a little worn. And if you move oh, your yes. back, you find a blood stain on it. <gasps> oh my fucking god! Either they're on their period or they got fucked. There's so many other options that lead to that, other oh, than those two. <laughs> my bad. Uh, there are two chests it. over here. One of which is already open, and you can, you, you can take up to 5,000 gil from it. Takes the 10k gil. Do you really want to take more than 5,000? We're going to need it for this adventure. I feel like we take... Okay, how Ooh, about take... this? Anyone I take five, come. you take five. You Got it. Take I'll take up to five thousand gil. The fucking five thousand. Take it so the enemy can appear. All right. Behold. So the both of you are taking five thousand. Yep. Yes. All right. Get ready for an ambush because it's probably I gonna. This. I want this book. What's in I the want book? This book? Say that again, Alec. I don't know, it's over here on the ground. Is this a oh, real yeah, book? There's a book. Uh, it is a book, yes, but you cannot understand the text. If you take it to that doesn't mean I can't take it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say you can take it. Ah, the book becomes mine. Add, Alec, add mysterious hold on. book to your inventory. 
Here, let me see if I can read the book. It's already in my pocket. No, none of you can read the book. Damn it. So, we looted the two chests. There's gold here on the floor, whatever that is, or something. What is that on the floor? A bag of golden flower seeds. I'm sitting in the throne. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. The moment your ass touches the throne... Hey! 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 What are you doing? <clears throat> Get up! That's my seat! I'm go. So, question. If I look at it, does it look like just a floating head? <laughs> it's literally a floating head. In that case, my response is going to be, you I can't even sit in head. it. Uh, yeah, I can. You're sitting on my body, you rude bastard. Get up! I can feel that, you know? Oh. So if I don't get up, you can't do anything. I'm gonna fucking bite you. Can I shoot it? Don't shoot it. He seems friendly. He hasn't attacked us yet. I don't know. He looks very dangerous. Let me shoot it. No. I'm going to hand him his body. <sighs> Thanks. I, I, I guess. <laughs> Who are you? And what do you want? Why are you here? I'm going to shrug. <laughs> what I oh, want to know... Now, why are you here in this cave near the village while there is wild animals going rampant? I... What? Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. First of all, I live here. This is my joint. Alright? All, all you mortals keep coming up here and disturbing the peace and I can't get any goddamn sleep in here. How often... Do these mortals disturb your peace and quiet? Uh, like... I don't know. Every, Once a year? Every other week or so. People come <laughs> in here, they start a fire, they leave the fire going, I gotta put it out and shit. What was that, about a year? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Even funnier that it's... <laughs> It wasn't at all related to the thing. Nope, it was not related. This is someone else entirely. My character More just dies. Who are you? Me? Yes. Name's Adam. Adam Greaves. Adam <laughs> Greaves. Right. Pleasure to meet you, Adam Greaves. Nice to meet you, too. I'm um, Joshua. Practice eyes. Target. Uh. Right. <laughs> Legendary. Alright, who are you, Mr. Sits on other people's bodies? We call him we call him the Grand Sitter, as you can see. You're bullshitting me, right? <laughs> yes. If Introduce you had, yourself and the name is Sarah. The name is Sarah. Interesting name. And you, redhead lady. Who you? Where you come from? What are you doing here? Are you with them? Volcano. Okay, no. JFK. <laughs> here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> AFK. Alright, well, he's gonna go back talking to Saradin. <laughs> <laughs> so, you. What was that? You said some somebody here, animals and shit going crazy. What? Well, see every year, the village nearby. To the village nearby has a festival. During during the time of the festival, the village gets attacked by wild animals and other monsters of such. Mortals still have That's festivals hard. these days. Yes, you should uh, go out more instead of living in the cave. I... about that. He can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. Why are you stuck here? Why, is your body sealed? 
uh, yeah, that goddamn chair is, uh, a curse that seals me to this place. And my body is also part of that curse. So what happens if we remove the body from the chair and bring it outside the cave? Uh, I... I'm going to dissipate into the ether. That silence <laughs> just says it all they're gonna do it. <laughs> well... So, we can't... Hmm. Who placed the curse? How do we remove the curse, then? Some wraith-looking bastard put this curse on me a couple thousand years ago. And he said there was some spell thingy that, like... Uh, what do you say? So it was, like, heals the sick or whatever, and... He said, I'll never Jerry. find anyone with that thing, and I'm stuck here for eternity. And I said, fuck you, you ugly sack of shit. So, first question on my mind is, is it William? Because if so, fucking hilarious. Second, is he just talking about Cure? Uh, no, he's not talking about William. No, he's not talking about Cure. Okay. Nice, sack LeBron. You what? Can you LeBron. sack LeBron? No, bitch. <laughs> I said, can I smack Libra onto him? Just so I can see oh, what he Libra. is. Oh, uh, Libra. Yes, you can <laughs> cast Libra on him. Libra? Y'all say Libra, man. I say li either or. Accent. Uh, accent. Uh, Libra. Libra. <laughs> You're saying Libra. Libra. I, I, I thought you said LeBron, so like, I thought you were just gonna fucking pick That's up the skull and just basketball it, just dunk it. <laughs> Libra. Okay, Libra. <laughs> I cast Libra on it. My character's over here thinking he called me target practice eyes. I almost I almost said a comment just now and I almost said a caco because that's pretty much how I was been playing this but fucking I am sitting sideways in the seat with my knees over uh one of the arms. Imagine. Cast any known white magic on him to see what happens. Why Can I cast a tuna on him? I'll do it and find out. Wait, did you say remove signet? It's probably a tuna. Are you actually casting a tuna? Yeah, but. I forgot to put it in my spellcasting and attacks. <laughs> no, it, I put it in your thing as an actual spell slot. Mm, 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 spell mm, slot. Mm. Click That's on the spell magic. Pad. Ah. It's magic that we get to use, Poker. So I can't use it. Exactly. Okay. You're not allowed to cast white magic. Upon casting Estuna... I need our magic now. Adam becomes engulfed in the light of it, and the chair that Saradin is sitting in vanishes. Fuck. <laughs> your character body, just your character just lands on his ass. Adam's body stands straight up, and it begins moving on its own. And Adam himself begins flying around the caves incredibly fast. Holy! Well, you fucking did. Holy fucking shit, what did you do to me? I feel free curse. now. I just broke your curse. You kind-hearted motherfucker. What do you want? You want something from me? You want some help? What's going on? As he speaks, his body just like... jumps around all over the place. Can we add him as a party NPC? Not as a party NPC, <laughs> but you can take him to the village. I feel like that's not no. gonna go well. Ahead. I feel like it will. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there is Mike there. Who the fuck is Mike? The green bat. My homeboy. Oh. What the fuck? Okay. You know uh, what? Uh, I don't think- do we need anything from him? Actually, wait. Can I describe the magic foot to him and see if he knows anything about it? Sure. I describe the magical footprint. 
Uh, how big was that footprint? I used my arms to show how big it was. That's the wraith bastard that sealed me in here! Where is it? That's a big wraith. Mission accomplished. Don't wraiths float? Some, some walk. Oh, okay. Some walk. Where oh, is it? Where outside the cave? Well, not where the wraith, the footprint is outside the cave. That son of a bitch. That means he's hiding somewhere, and he stops talking, and his jaw kind of drops, and his flames weaken a little bit, and he says, "That means that son of a bitch is somewhere nearby." Oh my god, our next boss. We. We need to get out of this cave now. What? Mm. I don't care what's going on. He gra <laughs> he uses his mouth to grab you all by the collars of your shirts, and he carries you all out of the cave. You the fuck? We need to go now. I like how I got picked up midway to that mess <laughs> as a drive by. <laughs> we we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Alright, you all make it out of the cave. Adam. Look, he's Adam, even smaller. <laughs> Adam drops all of you, and he quick, he very fast starts like flying around the place, trying to get any kind of eyes about where the wraith would be. I want to ask William what the wraith is. <laughs> okay. Or ask him if he has seen a wraith. It's been about 2,000 years since I physically laid eyes on them, but they are, they are very, very talented at <clears throat> hiding their presence, especially amongst forest guardians since, well, we're poisonous to each other, so to say. They? So there's more than one? Well, when I say they, I mean that entire species of creature. Right. It's like rock, paper, scissors, but they both beat the shit out of each other. I can't. As you are All right. speaking to William, Adam flies by. Holy shit! Will! Willy boy! <laughs> Is that you? You're alive? Of course, of course no. they know each other. It's been ages. And William rolls his eyes through his mask. <sighs> Hello, Adam. How have you been? Ah, well, you know, cooped up inside a cave for too damn long, and these cool guys. Oh, well, I'm glad you didn't call them suckers. Anyway, these cool guys <laughs> cast some pretty spell on me, and now my curse is gone. Some pretty spell. And Suna, it's just your run in the mill anti curse spell. I'm surprised no one actually. Never mind. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. They tell me there's a wraith somewhere nearby, and I'm pretty sure that's the sick bastard that cursed me in there. You, uh, you wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? No, I haven't, but how would you even be able to fight with a skeleton for a body and a flaming head? Okay, look, that doesn't matter right now, alright? Just need to find him and kick his teeth in. You mean ask the travelers to, as you put it, kick his teeth in? Listen here, smartass. <coughs> <laughs> As those two are having their bicker back and forth moment, once again, Tyr, Fiend, and the Mayor, they approach the party, and Fiend appears to be carrying an incredibly large gun on her back. They're bad guys. And Tyr has an extravagant-looking staff in her hands. And the mayor...
mayor and William make eye contact, and before William can slither into the trees, the mayor runs up and hugs him. I believe this is molestation. <laughs> oh my uh, god. No consent. Well... The rule of consent! Well, well, that's going on. I casually walk towards the other two. And I just say, hey. Nice gun. What is it? <laughs> is it a gun in your pants or are you just happy to see me? No. Shut up. <laughs> For simplicity's sake, she is carrying a charged sentinel from Apex. <laughs> oh, okay. Is, uh, that means it deals bonus damage to Adam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you mind if I get a hands-on? Expection on it. Never seen that kind of weapon before. Not now. Maybe later. Uh, I brought this with me because we are currently in the deepest sector of the forest area. And <laughs> last time I came here, foolishly by myself, I nearly died. Does it have anything to do with a wraith? What? Alright, that answers that question. <laughs> Fiend has no idea what we're talking about. But the moment Wraith comes out of your mouth, Tear immediately has an emotional breakdown. Oh, bitch. Like Look what you did. I panic. <laughs> I panic. My character panics on. and tries to comfort her. <laughs> I hold on to her before she collapses onto the floor. What yeah. is it? What's happening? Why are you crying? Wait, hold on. Which one is collapsing? This one or this one? I thought we didn't have Cat in the fucking campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick time event. We both <laughs> hold on to her so she doesn't fall on the ground. Fuck. <laughs> as as Tear is shaking in your arms. And although broken, you you can piece together her saying, A wraith that destroyed my homeland, a wraith is what destroyed my homeland, a wraith is what destroyed my homeland. Nice. I thought I'd never have to see one again. And that is the only thing you can understand her saying before she begins crying. And I mean like, like waterfall level crying. I look at her wife and ask for her to comfort her as well as both of us comforting her. Uh, Bean, <clears throat> Bean picks her up, bridal style, and just oh. holds her in place. At least long enough for Tear to stop crying. Oh my. And she, whis she whispers to her, it's okay, it's okay. Gonna be okay. And when Tear stops shaking, she puts her Fiend puts her back on her feet and she scrunches her hair a little bit and she and then Tear looks at Yashua, Mel, Saradin, and Ice. And she a gives she gives the biggest smile that you've seen her give. And your compassion ring glows one stage brighter. It is now functioning as a flashlight, if used in a dark place. Awesome. Now, now I can use it as a moonbeam. I just fucking attach it to my rifle. <laughs> the mayor lets go of William. And they don't speak any words, but their their eye movement to one another says it all. Without speaking, you can understand them saying that, I'm glad you're alright. It's good to see you again. Hopefully you can 
come around to the festival this year. And William says, well, you, you, you infer that William says, I will do my best. So, the mayor, once again, begins running around the place as fast as he can, inspecting every little nook and cranny he can. He's laying traps about the place, and he does another set of inspections, and he declares this area is safe. And so, the party has completed all of the high-risk battles, and as such, you all will gain 2,000 EXP. So, level once six. Again, once again. Level six, Contact. baby. Every time we level up, a mariachi band spawns somewhere near us and plays the music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love that. God damn it, I have to do math again. So Not level six, thing. we get... Five MP. Five MP. Yeah, that five is MP it. from the book bonus, and then the bonus from the intelligence point increase. So, 40 MP. Yep. 40 MP? Ayo. Wait, hold on. What's my maximum MP since I used heal? Shit, was it 220? 220, yeah. Do we get more HP? Yeah, every level up you get 50 HP. Don't take my headset off. Open window. God is no more. Okay, so we get two bonus points, right? Your primary stat goes up by another two, and you get one bonus point this time. This is over up from five to six. I almost have 80 speed. How do you have 80 speed? I said almost 80. That's because I have 35 decks, and then we got plus one speed from one of these fucking leveling things. Uh, yeah, we get one speed for every two levels, and we're level six. And then uh, I have... I bought a wind ring and the wind necklace, which give me speed. <laughs> Everything I have is to make me fast. There's nothing else I do. <laughs> okay. So HP uh, armor class is still full. So now it's every odd number that we get uh yeah. the attack gain, right? Yes. Okay, so we can got did the mana, did the intelligence. All right, I think that's it. Do we do we reset our XP points or just leave it the way it is? Uh, I mean, I changed it to sixteen fifty because we gained two K. Uh, yeah, we gained a thousand more than we needed to level up. Yeah. So sixteen fifty. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you all are done. I think I'm done. HP mana. I think I'm done. Yeah. All right. In just a moment. <coughs> Bless, Bless you. you. Thank you. Yeah, Bless thee, brother. <laughs> Why was that your response to being blessed? Right. It's only when Riku blesses me. Y'all are done, yes? I guess. Alright, what well, was that? And the mayor declares this village defense mission a success, and you all begin to proceed back towards the village. What I feel like the village is going to be on fire or something. 
Wait, but what about the rape? You all proceed towards the village. <laughs> the rape is going to be at the village. Yeah, I'm assuming. And just before you leave this area, I need all of you to roll perception. There's what I was looking for. Aha! Uh -huh! Behold, luck. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see shit. Damn, he blind. Damn, he blind too. Oh. All right, perception, perception, perception. Okay, Alec and I go to the next stage. <laughs> I needed a grand total of 40. You all rolled 44. Ooh, Saradin, nice. Oh, so it's all together. Okay. Saradin and Mel, you all turn around to see the wraith you've been looking for standing atop the cave. Uh huh. As it gets, a slut. And as it gets closer, it grows to move down. in size. Oh my a god. Big... I can break out. I don't think those are feet. He doesn't have feet. No, those are hands. Yeah. Those are hands. It's, it's I know, fine. that's what I mean. You know, How does he can change form whenever feet. they want, right? Well, now I know. <laughs> what in oblivion is that? <laughs> it's the fucking wraith. And so, upon making eye contact with the wraith, battle begins. However, before anyone can land the first hit, Fiend takes her sentinel, she aims it right at the thing's head, and fires a bullet. Oh. Tear then Sniper follows up over. right behind her. She casts Thundaga on the Wraith. And <laughs> Me, Gungaga. The both of them walk forward and they speak to you guys. And uh, upon them doing doing what they did, they knocked the Wraith from 12,000 to 9,000 HP. It took a chunk out of its health. Alright, so as they speak to you, the lyrics in the song right now, they are pretty much saying that they're admitting that they don't have the strength to do what you guys are capable of. But they're putting their faith in you to make sure things go differently this time. Since you're the second set of travelers sent by Korra to fucking fix everything and get your world back. So with that being said, it's boss fighting time, y'all. Let's go! Alec, your face. My character just... Pulls out both the revolver and sniper rifle, dual dual wielding like he's pissed. And and for for this encounter, Tyr and Fiend are temporary allies. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! So, that twenty. So that's an auto crit. Also. Oh my god. Also, you go now begin gaining limit break energy after being no! after. Being invigorated by seeing Tyr and Fiend finally take a stand and do something. Alright, I'm gonna roll your damage. Does... Wait, why is there Does... a you guys have advantage on Limit Break? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the plus two coming from? I don't know. I'll still add it in anyway. Just. Don't know Riku. What, Rick? I'm gonna tell you this now. Well, My limit roll. break functions like a devil trigger. I'm just telling you this now. Oh, the crit D8. Okay. I understand. You deal 160 damage to it. So it drops from 9k. 
so because it is a ring, if you want to, I'm not going to let you stand on top of it, but if you want to move within melee range of it, you can. Some of us don't have a choice. I say I kind of have to be in melee range of it. Uh, one. from being sentinel and it has a natural weakness to light it does plus 50 so you deal 165 damage to it to 8,655 alright, hit Another 156 points damage to 8,459. Uh, that's half damage. Is it still hit? Yeah, it still hits, but it's half damage. <laughs> nice. Six of damage. So it now has right and one, and two, and three, three, four, five. Yep, that's my last one. About Thirty. And then that's another one twenty. So it now has. 8,210 HP left. <sighs> Who next? That would be me. Go for it, brother. My page ain't loading. I literally jump over these two and take behind cover back here. Right, so that's one action out of five. Hmm. I'm gonna use reloading siphon, but instead of using uh my traditional bullets, I'm gonna use the lightning bullets that I found. The Thraga ones you told me about. A reloading siphon does not consume ammo. Oh, it doesn't? No. <clears throat> it's a reload. Yeah, so you shoot, you're shooting uh, the lightning bullets, but you're not spending it. Because oh. when it makes contact, you steal 10 MP and you convert that to bullets. So the bullets you, you would have spent normally. You're not spending it. Okay. So uh, I do two shots then, right? Yeah. So how do I roll for this? Roll dexterity? Uh, no, you do reload inside them. And the bullets that you're using are the plus 50. So you would re so you would roll reloading siphon normally. Okay. But have, I'll do the math for each individual attack. Oh shit. Alright. That is 248 damage. Hold on, I actually accidentally pressed the side button on my mouse and I left the page. That's fine, take a time. Okay, I'm back in. Alrighty. Got it. 
use two out of your five actions. God, why does it take forever to load a character page? Reloading Siphon again. Go again? Yeah, you got two actions left. Also, Alec, I forgot to tell you to input your limit break energy from what you did. And give yourself give yourself forty points of limit break energy. Okay, out of hundred, I'm giving. Since this thing's a wraith, it can't be poisoned, right? No. I want to use Hollow Shot, but it's not properly implemented yet. I know what it does, so you're, you're fine. Okay. I want to use Hollow Shot, but it's eh. I'm assuming you're still using your lightning bullets, right? For hollow shot? Uh, yeah. You deal 103 more damage to the wraith. Right. So I have 9 lightning bullets left since I used that. Yeah. That's just 2,000, 8. So I'm at 35? Yep. Alright. Now I'm gonna attack for final turn, or final action. Alright. Yes! What's up? Can you stay with Bruno there? Bruno has a seizure. Huh? Bruno has a seizure, seizure. Bruno had a seizure? Here. Yeah, he had to cut his hair. E depois teve um teve um Caesar fora, ok? Quer que com ele aí? Quer que que agora está querendo morder, morder. Ok, I got him. Teve aí, teve aí já foi afora. Com ele não quer fazer pipi, não quer fazer nada. Ele não sabe, ele não caminha, ele não caminha bem. Teve um Caesar outra vez. Estava a estar aí comigo, mas não está só lá aí, ok? Vou fazer a cara mal. Yeah, I'll I'll watch Bruno. Tá, teve um Caesar e parece que está Okay. Yeah. Give me a second, I have to check on Bruno quickly. No, it's uh Bruno had a seizure. Wait, what? Did it work? I don't know. No, sorry, it's a Yeah, I was literally about to do that now. I'm like reclined on my chair and I got up so quick, I'm like, oh, pop, 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 pop. Is Bruno his doggy? Yeah. Oh, poor baby.
Somebody's asked to be unmuted, I believe. Oh, well. He's back. Okay. You good now, Rick? Yeah, that was surprising. Okay. Alright. Sorry uh, about that. Uh, what? I rolled your damage mm -hmm. for you. Uh, I have another 15 points in the break energy. And then that so. is your turn. Wait, how much limit break energy do I have now? Have 50. Alright. Alright, okay. it'd be your turn. It'd be me. Okay, let's see. Yes, sir. Behold! Okay. As I'm walking by, I tap her shoulder, and then continue going. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the fuck, I disappeared. <laughs> Jesus, bitch. Oh my god, he swallowed you! <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Dragon slice! Then, I want to also use, um, I want to use lightning on my sword and then smack him with a dragon slice. Does that work like that? Is, like, am I using it properly? Yeah, yeah, just give me a second. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sad the music's not playing for me. Yes, I need good music. Yes! Okay, so... Before you do your next attack, uh, give yourself <clears throat> uh, three points of limit break energy. And bonus dragon. Then you said you were using spell blade on your weapon, right? Mm-hmm. Like lightning on it. Yes. And then you can dragon slice again. Yes. Alright, so roll that. Damn bitch. Oh my damn bitch. Seven thousand forty-three damage and increase your limit break energy by seven. Okay, I want to use dragon slice again. Yeah, I added plus 10. Alright, go for mm -hmm. it. Hyunk! Motherfucker! <laughs> Do damage! <laughs> this is just a test, I'm not actually using it. Okay. <laughs> Currently has 6,914 health left. I use. Oh yeah, fuck, it's five right now, so I can use Dragon Slice again, right? Yes, you do have, you have one more action. I, I'll also use Dragon Slice. 
Are these bad rules? No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Another 127, so the boss now has 6,707 HP left. Increase the limit break energy by another 7 points. Um, when does- when can I use my limit break technique? have 100 points. 100? Okay, um, can I use third eye as a defense? You can use it as your defending action, but you will not be in defense position. So instead of taking 20% less damage, I'll be taking 10% less. I'll just use a defense action, then I'll just stay where I am. Alright. It is your turn, brother. I'm going to be my way on. You get touched by his crab hands. <laughs> Crustacean frustration. I'm going to let my lightning badge and take a swing at him. Oh, what do I have to roll for this? <laughs> uh, Unless he's slower than me. Is he slower than me, Riku? 22. Made it next time I slow him down. <laughs> my life. <laughs> but I'm gonna activate oh, no. the slow badge and then take another sword. Alright. Oh, you don't That's need right. to roll to hit anymore. It's slower than you now. Oh, this is me not rolling the slow badge. Because doesn't don't I need to hit for it to trigger? Yeah, but if you if you're faster than the thing, you don't have to roll for effect things to take place. Oh. Oh. True. True. Uh -huh. Don't mind me. I have a second question. Badges, do they last one turn or two turns? The elemental effect of the badge lasts for one turn. Or one action. Okay, noted. So I played the slow badge. That's the tag, so I have two more turns. Or after this session, I'm gonna make more. some shoulder. Oh, I have one more turn. This will be the second. The last swing. And then I'm gonna defend. So you. <clears throat> you dealt uh, 92 damage. So I have to do map bleeding for myself. Six thousand six hundred now. HP left. And increase your limit break energy by five. Hooray! <laughs> right. It is Fiend's turn. She is going to take another shot at the Wraith with her charms. Sentinel. Can door. Well, that's not a deal. Three charge shots in our sentinel. She dealt 394 damage. Damn, bitch. Boss currently has 6,301 right. HP left. That is her turn. Come on, my rolling. Okay. I forgot that that's for protect my plus 10, uh, whatchamacallit, defense. And then I need to roll to be another set for slow. 
a going to hammer it with another Thundaga. Currently has five thousand eight hundred ninety four left, and I'm going to have it roll against paralysis. It is paralyzed. As a consequence oh. of suffering paralysis, it loses one action. So the wraith. Wait. Oh my, it's, it only has four actions it can take for the next 11 turns. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. The Wraith is going to punch the ground and send waves of dark energy through it. Right. Look at that roll, though. <laughs> Are any of you wearing? I know Rip is wearing elemental armor. Who else is wearing elemental armor? Me. No. Hi! It's three of you wearing elemental armor. Does anyone have a shadow scarf? Nope. I also have a shadow scarf. Okay, so I'm gonna go pee, bring it back. Okay. You take 6% less damage from that. From that. You take 109 points of damage. Huh? Damn. That hurt. Did you not see the plus 100? That's a yeah, I saw it. It's a tax stat. Fuck. Uh, that's quite amazing on my part. I have just as much attack power as I do defense. <laughs> Rick, you take 4% less. Wait. No, wait. Rick, you take 114 points of damage from that. I take 114? Yep. Damn. Now that you can say anything, I take the full brunt of it. <laughs> Even though I did defend, I still take the full brunt of it. Yeah, you are defending, so that's... I always make sure to defend after each turn. I ain't gonna die. I threw a one shot at least. <laughs> Ninety-three points of damage. Fuck! What a beast! <laughs> he just tanked it. <laughs> okay, how much damage do I take? You have that one's on it, right? Yep. Take one hundred fourteen points of damage. Jeez. Yeah, that hurt my feelings. And what was that, his first action? Yep. <laughs> it is going to cast Thunder. No, no, no. That's, I'm looking at the wrong image. It is going to cast Felicity. Wait, was Paralysis one less action or just one action? One less action. Oh, okay, great. Uh, 
Oh, wait, before that, uh, all of you increase your limit break energy by 11 points. Sexy! Yeah, 61. Right. Hedrick passed me. Oh, big, nice. I'm not sure. I want to ask who's that's for, unless that's for all of us. Uh, that is for you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has you in arm's reach. <laughs> yeah, I'll be someone at the ball, just looking at him in the eyes. <laughs> I swear. Take 43 points of damage. Okay. Alright. And increase your limit break energy by 4 points. I do know, Ricky. If we have downtime, I'm literally killing myself with water. Anyway. So slightly. Right, and it's going to set its gaze on tear. And that is its turn. Oh. Rico, I swear to God, if one of the lesbians die, you're on a stake here. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> What's that one of them? No! 51. 51. Mine's at 61. A cool 20. <laughs> <laughs> I could take it, I can't give much damage. Oh. It. <laughs> What's your limit break energy at? Mine is at 35. Alright, Alec, it is. What did my character go after me? Oh shit. It's your turn, brother. It's <laughs> my character, I'm actually scared. <laughs> Mel? Well. What? My character disappeared from the fucking face of the earth. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you can't eat KFC, it's not open in Japan. What? We're going to Japan, bros. Break energy by eight. You dealt hundred twelve points damage to the monster. It now oh, I deal more with lightning points. What? I said, oh, I deal more with lightning thorn then. Yeah. I haven't rolled damage yet, I was just rolling to see okay. if they hit it. And I think... I don't know about the 64, but I think the rest hit No, they all hit. It, it currently has 5 speed. Oh, this Thanks thing's a me, yeah. bitch. It had 25 at one point. Oh, okay. 65, 68, 68. Yeah, I know. But it's all there. <sighs> Thank you. 
by another 8 points. Another eight points. by another nine points. That is your turn. The boss currently has 5,068 HP left. Wait, 75,000? No, 5,000. Oh, okay. I was gonna start crying for a second. Mm -hmm. How much energy you got? 68. How do you have 68? You told me to add nine twice. I told you to add eight twice and nine twice. Oh, I definitely did not hear the eights. <laughs> uh, so plus sixteen. Eighty-four. That my limit break sucks ass. I mean, I got forty limit break points for free because I got a nat twenty. What do, you, what do you mean your limit break is bad? I only have 35! She means the points are oh. I think she means her rate. Which yeah. I have the worst one out of everybody. Oh, how much do you have? 20. I'm sorry for your loss. Alright, Rick, your turn. I was reading manga while I waited. Oh. Uh, let's see. Alright. Did it go off twice? Alright. By 16 points. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I'm at 77. Reload siphon again. Didn't hit that hard. by another 15 points. Ninety-two. All right. Huh? Did I just press it once? Okay. 
another 297 points of damage. The balls have 4,147 HP left. And increase energy by another 15 points, and you are currently at 100. Hmm. I'm gonna save it for next turn. Okay. Oh, as for some flavor text. Uh, after dealing your last hit, you notice that your weapons begin to glow. And then you start glowing. And you ever so slightly float above the ground as you are filled with a new surge of energy. And now, this place. not playing. This is what happens when you don't release when you die. Why is it not playing? Oh, it's playing. What is? Yeah, I hear the song. Likewise. If the volume is down. It's not playing. Oh, game's gone. <laughs> what? GM left. Know. Everyone, oh, shoot him. <laughs> shoot the monster. <laughs> GM is gone. Rule is gone. We're all just gonna gank up now. Just gank on the monster. <laughs> is it, it is playing for y'all, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That was playing for me. How many turns do I have left? One? Uh, I think we have one. Yeah, no, you got two turns, uh, two action hmm. Remind me, limit break lasts for how long? Your limit break is a one-time use thing. Now, Meg, I'm pretty sure you're talking about Hyper Soul, you don't have access to it. Okay, okay. Alright, in that case, I'm gonna use, uh, limit break. Oh, uh, 100 of them. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 100. Okay. I just hope to go 4. Wait, what? 4 D100s? Yeah. Four, yeah. I have to roll it 4 D100s? Yes. So do... Roll, roll it four times. Yeah. Or you can put a four in front of the D100 and it'll just do it automatically. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, slash R four D100. Like this? <laughs> oh, so that too. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh. Fucking Riku and Rick's rolls you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> Nice. Right? Enemy has 3,843 HP left. So, limit break goes down to zero. Yep. How's everyone's health looking? Honestly, pretty good. Ice? Okay. I mean... I took the least, I think Oral took the least damage out of everybody. Yeah, he did. Zero? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. <laughs> 218. I'm gonna shoot it again then. Get my ammo back. Nice. 
All right, that's it for me. Hi, hi. Okay. Mm. Stab the motherfucker! Got it. Dragon slice. What? Holy shit! Dragon Slice again. Behold! Damage! Babush! Right, that is the last bonus you get from Dragon's Bonus. Fuck! I'm still gonna use Dragon Slice again. Cause Biggie damage! Riku, can I try something without it being legit? Hang on, let me finish doing this real quick. Mm hmm. I want, can I can I just roll something without it being legit? Okay, I just wanted to test something. I'm gonna use Dragon Slice again. Oh. 68. Sadness. Mine is so enraged. It's hard to say because that small gap. Small gap. The small gap. You can hit that. Oh, I'm gonna activate my lightning badge and swing then. Or spark strike badge. That's pretty much going to be uh, most, of the, most of my attacks. Break energy by another eight points. 
and now he's swung my last hit on the bottom. <laughs> and now I get to do math. All right, I defend. That's my ending action. Right, right. That is so scary. After using the energized spell, you're gonna stumble in place and use your staff to hold herself up. And she's going to look at you all and she's going to scream to the top of her lungs, kill that son of a bitch! <laughs> yes, queen! Alright, Alex. Your turn yet again, brother. What if your Take limit break your does less damage than your normal attacks? What? What if your limit break does less damage than your normal attacks? Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that really only applies to Yuki right now. Yeah. Hold on. Let me go check the page again. Maybe I left something out because I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Google Doc. Scroll down to teleporting Noctis Man. Let me break, let me break, let me break. Oh! Well, that's a section I didn't read. Hold up. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I like how I didn't copy you. Oh no, it isn't here. I just can't see all of the... Okay. So this is supposed to be a fourth of my attack. So 25% of 56 is 56% of 25, so it's like 13 plus... About about four, thirteen, thirteen, seven and a half. So What the fuck is that? How did you do that? What? Uh, I got the ability to do this after I put down ten dollars on roll twenty. That reminds me, I was uh, tapped out of this menu at one point and came back. I also was just like pissing out of one of the. <laughs> <laughs> So we have that, but we don't have Thug Award. Crazy. Wait, uh, does Lightning Thorn count as a sword? Yes. Ricky? Yeah. Okay. Dope. So I can do this twice. I'm hoping for a cheesy nuke effect when we kill this thing. <laughs> 14 plus 19. Oh, I did that math wrong. This was supposed to be 33. I was close enough. Yeah, I just realized only the top of my calf is sunburnt because I went to move my leg. Uh, did that take up my whole turn? Okay, then yeah, I'm done. Right, Rick. All right. How much HP this guy has? One thousand two hundred. I don't know if I can do that much. Let's see. I'm gonna save the lemon break for my last attack. Oh, okay. No, that's that view. If I lot 20 lip breaks right here now, I'm all weeks away. Okay, everyone, jump the wraith! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Take his lunch money. Take his lunch money. Take his lunchables. <laughs> his lunchable. Well, this motherfucker has the Kit Kat version of lunchables. You'll get it. You'll, you'll, you'll run him for his phones. Oh my god. Oh no! 
now. the top. How did I do that? <laughs> no, you fucked up. Okay, Bruno, you'll, you'll be okay, Bruno. Your guns are are not pale blue as they were before. Coloration is So, how is everyone? Pretty good. Pretty good, how are you? We're just having this idle chatter while the Wraith is just dying. Yes. Cup of tea. You know what we should do to this Wraith after we kill it? We should T-pose. Oh my god, yes. Insert all dominance. See, it's lucky I didn't bring my Ghostbusters gun. We can exercise the ghost. Get to suck it up into the vacuum. Like Luigi's Mansion. Just. Oh my god. You good? Welcome back. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm I. Let's do this. I gotta get my ammo back. <laughs> they didn't get my ammo back. HP. 
Caverns MP into bullets. Health is it on? All right. Reloading siphon. Need my ammo. I'm gonna limit break! Uh, yes. <laughs> I went from zero to using four, was it four reloading siphons? God, how, how many bullets do I get out of them? 10 MP for each. 40? So, does that mean you only have four bullets? <laughs> I have four bullets. Yes. Will I be able to kill it with four bullets? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I have a question. If I save my limit break, does it carry over for next session? Yes, but you will have 90 points to the Fair. Fuck it, I'm just gonna f end him. Wrong number gains HP. Phase two, baby. Yeah, you said we have five actions. Yeah. Okay. I attacked five times, and you said it went to the negative, but it's not disappearing. So I'm assuming it's yeah, two. two for the boss. <laughs> Hey, I did five attacks, yes. and you said the monster's health went on to the negatives, yeah. so I said phase two, because the boss is going to have a phase two, maybe. That's what I'm assuming. She's Hi. conscious. <laughs> oh, is it my turn right now? Yeah, it's your turn. Whoops. Ow, ow, ow. So it is, okay. It is, um, it is, 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 it is,
100 banners and currently has minus 120 banners. Okay, I use you know, Libra on Rain. You still have your you know, God Call Speed Dive thing, right? You mean to call Korra? Yeah, for a random piece of advice. I will use Libra before I use my yeah, that's one Libra. way ticket. Let's not, God. Let's not uh, call up Kamisama yet. Yeah. Korra has to. First race, 12,000 HP, boss type undead. You must use white magic spell or a white magic combo to properly defeat it. Okay, so basically I don't have any white magic spells, do I? I Fucking you. kidding me! Um... You know, you say that, which means that I do, right? But I don't know if I do, so I need assistance, Riku. What happens if I use Cure? <laughs> On an undead. Oh! I have an idea! Just cure I will... it! I don't... Do I have cure? Oh fuck, I do. Okay, I cast cure on my blade. And I use a dragon slice. Chunk! Big damage. Holy shit. Oh fuck, no! No! <laughs> Did he die? Anyway. No, 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 no. Yeah. She has to do it. No, it, it's already, it's already <laughs> dead. But she can roll the Silent! Let me, let me, let me, let me. The damage you could have done. <laughs> 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 Never I roll my limit break. Click on it. So, your limit break. Mm -hmm. It is 4d20 plus the fourth of your attack. Plus your speed eight I, don't times. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you know what, Riku? It wasn't planned. I mean, technically, no. I don't want. I want to see how much damage I would have done. I mean, like, I don't mind not doing it. You know, maybe for like a better time. of stealing cards if you just say yes or no. I don't know. Can't protect your cards forever. So stupid. Six. I'm just giving you all the threes. Seven. You give me all the odd numbers. No. No. Because you um. has the added thingy of uh 
any crits you get, it, any crits you get per attack, it's half. It does that damage plus half of that. So you would have done like. Why do you add these base numbers? I like it. Steal Riku's card. It's gonna pop up on a screen. <laughs> Alright. So the raw numbers alone would have come out to 512. But because of that 120 you got, that 75 would. <laughs> 75 would be 110. So come on to 612. Then, plus the bonus damage taken that undead received from white magic would be an additional 100. So you would dealt 712 points of damage to the middle God damn! <laughs> and then there's me. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> You know what? I'm, I'm leaving my fancy moves for later. The boss has been defeated. And, best part, y'all have 100% clear chapter 1. Woo! Ba -ba 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 or that. Da, 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 Get a right close. <laughs> okay, so. I'm about to throw out a lot of numbers here, okay? Oh, fuck. Okay. So. I'm prepared. For beating the boss, you all gain 5,000 EXP. You bitch. That's a level up. What, Alec? <laughs> you bitch. What? Now, now I have to do leveling math again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So you all gain 5,000 EXP. And th th this is just for beating the Wraith. So please wait before you start doing things. Too late. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So. If you're beating the Wraith, you gain the 5,000 EXP. Each of you gain 6,000 gil. Mm, that's how the wraith drops a shard of energy you pick it up it is in your inventory if you take it to an alchemist the alchemist can do something you say nine thousand gil yes six thousand oh. six thousand oh, no he's you said six thousand yeah, no? yeah yeah my bad my bad okay i, I just don't believe i'm the parts one still <laughs> okay wait how much money do you have fourteen thousand six hundred would you like like five thousand from me? I have thirty-five k. I'm good. <laughs> There's a reason I'm poor. Enrique knows it. Yeah. It's better for me to stay poor. <laughs> Get a blow more of it quickly. And just to have some music playing in the background. Okay. All right. Well, also, each of you also get the... <clears throat> uh, I hit the wrong button. All of you get that pearl feather. Nice. I can now make the armor. Yes, all of you can now create the falcon armor. You have to take it back to the shop area and give, it, give the ingredients to Alex. Alex. Yeah, oh, right. right. Yeah, the the talking assistant. armor. Oh yeah, his guard. What else did we get? A crystal? Mm -hmm. Or a shard of a crystal? Energy shard. Yep. So we got a pearl, energy shard, pearl feather, 
other energy shard. Gill. Any XP. Yeah, you got. Did you already include your 5k from that? Uh, isn't that a level up? Yes. Yay. Oh. Level seven. Oh, we're all on level seven. That's great. Yep. And thus, we gain stuff. And one at one speed. And so now. To defense. How many bonus points we have? One. Remember, every level up, your primary goes up by two. You get one extra bonus point. Okay. My intelligence was supposed to go up by three. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Every time you level up, you gain 50. HP. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm gaining. Wait, 15 or 50? 50. I might be the powers, but I'm rigid HP. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all Riku? Or is there something else? Oh, uh, there's a lot more. What the, fuck? what the fuck did mana go up by? 35. 35. 35. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I see. <laughs> Excuse me. I see you, sir. Alright. And so now, you all gain the achievement. First boss defeated, and increase your charisma score by 5. And from completing all of the quests in the chapter, increase your charisma stat again by five and increase your wisdom by five. That's a lot. I'm so proud and of wisdom us. Wisdom by five. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Let me know when you're all done with that. Boom. Done. All right. And for your final set of bonuses for, as I said earlier, completing the entire chapter 100% and nobody got KO'd, increase your HP by 100 points. All of you gain a single Phoenix down. You gain 2,000 EXP, 2,000 gil. God, there's too much shit to update. <laughs> You're not, we are in this together. I'm giving up. Go on, Riku. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. Keep going, Riku. <laughs> Increase <laughs> all of your core stats by two. Okay, see, now you're doing something that I mean, requires that's me to do when a lot I, When I say your core stats, I mean your attack, your speed, nervous. and all that. Okay. Okay. That's better. Yes. I thought you meant to build these stats up to the side. I was like, wait, what? No, <laughs> like, no, core no, stats no. by two? What? Increase your attack. Magic attack, your speed, all that stuff. Increase all of that by two. My speed gets increased? <laughs> yes. Listen, all I'm saying is your boy's fucking fast. Yeah. <laughs> What's your speed at? That's a need to know. <laughs> and you don't need to know. 
can I just know you? I will be going first. <laughs> He's at 90 speed. <laughs> no. I'm guessing. No. I'm close though. <laughs> that... He's at he's he he's around the eighties. Yeah, I'm currently in the eighties. <laughs> Alright. And the last bonus you see, you you get two because you're playing a wild rose. I regret nothing on my choice. <laughs> <laughs> the last bonus you all get is that you can pick one of two rewards. You can either get a star shard, which is an accessory, or you can gain one of three passives. What are oh. the passives? Pass passive one is stone skin. Your defense immediately increases by fifteen points. You can learn the bravery spell and in passive format. I have it written up as after defeating a boss and finally tapping into what your true power is supposed to be, you now gain the spirit of bravery, and thus you get the bravery spell, which is an attack buff. That's a passive? Yes. You passively have the bravery spell. You still have to cast it to get the effect. Okay. I was curious, like, is it always active or no, no, is no, it no, like no, no, protector no, no. ring? Not protector, protector bracelet. No. And then the last bonus you get. What did bravery do? Uh, bravery increases your attack power by 10 for 2d4 turns. It's bravery 1. And then the last bonus you can get. Uh, no, no, not bonus. Uh, passive. The last passive you can get is an increase to your attack and crit Each... i want that okay then we're gonna add what the accessory does <laughs> like the accessory the third passive increases well, it's called warrior spirit and it increases your attack and crit by two percent oh and i have to fucking do math hold on <laughs> Meanwhile, the Star Shard accessory, as long as it is equipped, it is considered a necklace. The Star Shard increases your defense by 5, increases your attack by 5, it increases your MP by 20, and it gives you plus 2 dexterity. Are we oh, rounding up? Shard. On stats? Yes, you're rounding up. What was that, Rick? Okay. I'm taking a Star Shard. Alright. I will type that out for you, just so that you don't forget. Five hundred and three total weight. What the fuck was that <laughs> called? It was war. What my warrior past warrior spirit. spirit? Warriors spirit. I'm so proud of my seventy four. There's so much updating and shit that I just, eh. I can help you do it later if you want to take a break from this. Yes, time. yes, we'll go through that later. Yeah. I kind of need to level up my stuff. All right, I'm done. I'm going to make food. I'll be back. All right, and with that, this session is now coming to an end as I hit the stop recording button. That